All right, here we go. So welcome to Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Some of you may remember this game. I put it on the Let's Play channel a long time ago. That was back in the days of, of Salty Picaspri for all his Let's Plays when nobody was watching. And I made a video on this on the Yellow channel, which is probably where more people heard about this. That video I, I checked today for the first time in a long time, and it's over 600k views, which is pretty cool. I, I stopped paying attention to it. I didn't think it would get that high, but... But anyways, I thought, since we want to do some more RPG Maker stuff, let's start with let's start with this again. It'd be nice. And, alright, Joy to Key is set up, so I don't have to worry about that. I also installed the proper font this time, so hope that the text isn't a blobby mess. I think I mentioned that, having that issue in my, um, video about it. Um, how do I back out of here now? Okay, that button. New game, then. Let's do it. It's a spooky game. With spooky stuff. Settle in. Also, that white border around everything is just... That's just an RPG Maker 2003 thing. Don't drink that. Don't drink that thing. Oh. There we go. What is this noise? It's all meaties. Yes? Oscar, is that you? No, I was having nightmares again. Crap, what time is it? What? It's 4 p.m. already? Yes, it is, friend. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, I've been following the Azure City case. What? You suggest that I should take over the investigation? I doubt the Chief Inspector would even let me close to that case. Oh, of course. Nobody else wants it. What? I have to do this on my own? No team? So basically, I just have to survive in that hellhole for long enough so that the others get their crap together and actually start investigating. Force of habit <laughs> to cut off every swear for myself now. Okay, payment seems good enough. Tell the Chief Inspector I'm in. Yes, I'm sure about that. Yes. And no, I'm not drunk right now. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm kind of broke at the moment. i take any job. Yeah, this game is basically a horror game made with, like, uh, black and white Pokemon assets for, like, the, the Game Boy games. It's actually pretty cool. Like, it's... There's some thing. There's there's some issues with it. It's not a perfect game, but I definitely think this is a really cool cool idea. As you'll see, kind of broke at the moment. I take any job. More so, I I don't. It's the visual effects later on that kind of annoy me. Some screen shakes up. But anyways, oh, don't act all concerned, Oscar. It's not like you ever liked me. Of course, I'll go to Azure City tomorrow. Give me four hundred bucks in advance for the gas, of course. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've got personal reasons to go there. See you tomorrow at 2 p.m. As your city, why do you keep haunting me? There we go. As your city, three miles back uh, that way, of course. Loud rain sound effect. Three miles to As your city, almost there. Will he get there in time? Will he make it through it? I've seen no civilization the last couple miles. Well, don't assume I'll find any life in Azure City either. My first case in a ghost town. It's giving me the creeps. Hope the investigation's not in vain. Yeah, this is uh, this is what I'd call a comfy time game. It's probably one of the more cooler, unique Pokemon fan games. Again, I've made a video on this. It's a, kind of an older video now, but what happened in Azure City? Whole population of Azure City disappears overnight. Alien abduction? Uh oh. Twelve policemen disappear during the investigation. Policemen disappear. No bodies found. Gene Co. blamed for the incident. Oh boy. It's so spooky. 
Absolutely spooky. Zargoth presents Pokemon Nightmare version Invasion. It's listed as Nightmare Invasion in other places, but sometimes it says Nightmare version. It's just... I just call it Nightmare Invasion. It's easier. Did Gunvolt Striker go to Azure City? Probably. Suddenly the loud rain again. Azure City. Nobody's been able to solve this case yet, huh? T-words, experiments, aliens, ghosts, monsters. Whatever it is, I'm prepared. Here I am, Azure City. I'm here to solve this mystery. And I won't leave till I got it all figured out. There we are. Do do do. Looks like a note written in alphabets that I'm unable to read. I should take it. Maybe I'll be able to cipher it one day. You know, like we all do. There's the rain sound effect. Jack found note. Jack found a potion. Press X to use a potion. You know what's also funny is not only is it set to X, but escape button is also the potion button. Who maps a healing? Who maps healing to escape? That is such a weird decision. Okay. Here we go. I should look around the houses for clues. There should be a way to unravel this mystery. Maybe I'll find a diary entry that might help me. You know, as all horror games do, we have diary entries. Signposts listing all notable sites of Azure City. Shopping Center Blue. You'll find everything you need on seven levels, from convenience stores, over clothing, to electronics. Azure Tower. In the memento of all those who passed away during the war, the Memorial Tower was built in 1958. Gene Corporation. Well-known company, which brought us several several technologi technological advancements. Now even offers free tours through the building. Hmm. Let's take a look around. The bookcase is filled with various magazines, mainly fashion magazines. This rain sound loops very awkwardly, I know. The bookcase is filled with fashion magazines. Looks like the diary of a person called Miss Lorelei, or Mrs. Lorelei. Read. December 28th, 95. It's fifth night in a row that I was woken up by loud barking. At this rate, my sleep cycle will get more and more distorted. When asking around, I realize that nobody in the neighborhood has a dog. Am I hallucinating? January 1st, 95. I talked to Anita during the New Year's party. She told me she knows the source of the barking. Looks like Anita's lover, Gavin, is training dogs during the night. Seems he's involved in legal dog fights. Let's see what the police have to say about this. 4th, 96. Wait, 96? A whole year? It was like, what, didn't it say 95 for January 1st? Or did it say 96? Whatever. Damn it, police visited Gavin's house and Anita immediately accused me of telling. What a bitch. I don't see what she finds in Gavin. He isn't that handsome. And to top it off, he's a criminal. Anyway, the police didn't find anything in his house. I don't get what the deal is with that. January 10th. Hmm. It has been quiet the last couple of nights, but this time, it's not only barking. I can hear screams. I don't even want to imagine what Gavin is doing there. I hope he's not doing anything bad to Anita. Next three pages are empty. There's another entry on the fourth. I just looked out the window and saw something. Something weird. It looked like an alien. What the hell is happening? I don't feel good about this. Maybe I'm just panicking. It might be a side effect of the sleeping pills. I should try to get some rest. Hmm. This closed. Nothing unusual. Could rest here for a while. No need. What case is filled with fashion magazines? Yeah. Get comfy. It's gonna be a cozy night. From what I hear, a lot of y'all are dealing with storms right now, anyway. Let's go in here. Um. Do do do. Jack found note. Can't, like, open up an inventory, by the way. I don't seem to have anything. Open window? No, I'm good. Nothing special, just plain old books. Of that, chat, blood. History of Azure City, Part 1. In ancient scriptures, it said that Azure City was created by a demonic entity. This creature allegedly led settlers to the clearing, which would later become a city. The temple in the center of Azure City was built first, and in the inhabitants were hunters and farmers. They say that the demon taught people how to hunt more efficiently. Yeah, it's really weird. There's a rain sound effect, but whenever you walk into the, a, a, a house, it gets so muffled and quiet. But when you're out in the town, it's super loud. 
So I'm kind of just messing with the volume slider randomly. Anyways, they say the demon taught the people how to hunt more efficiently. <gasps> Sounds like the window just broke downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Books are all wet and moldy. Appears the owner himself didn't take a look at them for years. Martial arts and self-defense. One of the book has a striking title. How to use an umbrella as a martial weapon. That just sounds ridiculous. I don't think that I don't think books about the mating season of ducks will help me in my investigation. Lots and lots of encyclopedia. Stories about kids traveling around the world and catching monsters, making them fight each other and collecting badges. Weird. There seems to be a whole series of books about this. Books about pagan cults, nothing of interest. There seems to be a piece of paper between the scripts. It's a drawing of a weird demon with three heads and eight spider-like legs. One of the heads is the head of a cat, the other a frog, and the one in the middle a man. Odd. Hmm, you could say this game is odd, perhaps. An odd fan game, perhaps. All sorts of sciency books about chemistry and physics. Hmm. All sorts of books about psychology, nothing I need right now. Nothing of interest, just encyclopedias. I'll go downstairs when I feel like it. Books about the occult. Some of these are encyclopedia about cults all over the world. Detective novels. Now that's what I'm looking for. Small case hidden behind the books. That didn't seem to work. Jack found bookcase. No, that's not right. Jack puts bookcase back. Looks like some hastily written notes. The ancient scriptures claim that the first inhabitants of Azure City were worshipping some demonic entity. It took me weeks of research to gather some of the ancient scriptures. I still couldn't find the name of the demon, although I did find something else. The scriptures claim that the city was cursed since the Storm of Rage. They say that the demon would return after a thousand years to punish the non-believers. It is said that he would assume human form and try to kill all the inhabitants of the city. I did the calculations, and it's safe to assume that the date when the demon returns is the 27th of February, 1996. I'm sure this is just a myth, but this city does seem to be seem to cursed. Forgot a word there. It seems to be cursed. The incident from 90, er, 76 proves this. All right. Whatever you say, dude. Make a save. Before the great tragedy happened. What happened down here? The window looks like it was broken from the outside. Who might have done this? I think the rain sound stops soon and replaced with other other music. Yeah, see, it gets loud again. Like, it's actually absurdly loud. I have to turn it down for y'all. What was that? You see that? Jack found potion. I believe I mapped potion to this button, but I'll be careful. I gotta really gotta conserve those. Refrigerator filled with instant noodles. An oven. Only clothes. Who sleeps next to their oven? That doesn't sound good. Um. Alright, I'm good. Nothing here. A stunning picture of a beautiful landscape. Let's take a look at this picture up here. Or house. Why did I say picture? TV set. No electricity. Can't turn it on. Simple oven. Nothing unusual. History of Azure City, Part 2. After they discovered the extensive cave system under the temple, the natives started holding ceremonies to honor their god. As their society grew more and more, the inhabitants started doing monthly sacrifices in the caves to please their deity. All kinds of books. Now yeah, let's not take a nap right now. Let's just go over... Here, maybe. How about that? Nathan's bikes. Okay. Many, many bicycle parts. Many bicycle parts. Tons of magazines. Don't think we're gonna find anything here. Photo of a man doing an extreme jump over a cliff. On a bike, of course. All kinds of tools. Looks like someone was working on bicycles and couldn't finish his job. Normal bike. Normal bike. Hmm. Now what about up here, then? Um, can't go there. I need HM cut, as you can clearly see. It's locked. Gavin's house. 
So, what about over here, then? Okay. It looks like the diary of a person called Johnny. December 25th, 95. It's Christmas, and I'm spending it all alone once again working on my game. Figuring out how to work with the new system took me long enough. Now it finally shows some progress. January 2nd, Carol's back in town. I've seen her today at SCB. If only I had enough courage to ask her out. On the other hand, the game is progressing perfectly. Might be done soon. Hope someone will play it. January 6th, it appears that Gavin is dating Anita. I've seen them arguing today and talked to Gavin. Apparently she did something stupid and he was mad at her. I convinced him to apologize for his burst of temper. I think they really love each other. Looks like I'm good for something after all. January 8th. Gavin talked me into asking Carol, Carol out. We will meet in three days. Oh god, I'm so nervous. I never thought she would want to spend time with me. On another note, I have problems with several glitches in the game. That doesn't matter since I'm finally getting a date. I'm so happy. Lots and lots of books. History of Azure City, sure. Monthly sacrifices of youngling are said to have enraged their deity. This led to a mighty storm breaking loose. The storm went on for multiple weeks. The natives called this event Storm of Rage. During the Storm of Rage, approximately 83% of the population died. Some of them drowned. Others were burned in their own houses. Okay. Lots and lots of books about computers. Why are the history books not in one place? I don't make the rules. Metal wall is blocking the way. Looks like I need a card key to open it. Alright. I haven't found any items so far. So let's keep taking a look up over here. Can't... I, uh... Hey, Snorlax, what's up? Whatever this is, it's blocking the way. It looks like a big stuffed animal. However, it's too heavy to be pushed aside. Well, it... We are not going that way. What do we got here? How about Jack found Gavin's key? Looks like a letter. Dear Anita, I'm sincerely sorry for my actions. I didn't mean to react so harshly when I realized that you told Lorelai about my dogs. You still have to understand that it was a tricky situation for me. I could have gotten arrested. Thank God the cops didn't find the hidden room. You know how much I like you, Anita. If you ever feel lonely, you can come over to my place. It doesn't matter if I'm home or not. You will find the keys in the envelope. Just remember to keep out of the basement. Otherwise, feel at home. Yours faithfully, Gavin. Okay, save here again. Alright. Pokemon aren't really Pokemon in this world. As it seems... Yeah, the, Pokemon aren't a thing in this world. He doesn't know what that is. Let's go over here now. This was Gavin's house. It has a sign that says Gavin's house, so what else would it be? Looks like a letter. Dear Gavin, I'm working on something called Project M. I would like your help on the project. It would be of great help for me. Meet me at Azure Tower at the 2nd of January, 12 p.m. P.S. I know of your little puppies. Signed, uh... Lou J. Ben. Y'all hear that bark? I heard that bark. Probably not, because the game muffles all its sound effects so badly when you're in a house. Tons of books about dogs. Tons of books about dogs. What about this? Jack found note. All these books are written in a language I don't understand. Some documents which indicate that Gavin, the man who lived here, worked at Gene Co. over 20 years ago. Hmm. Uh-oh. Good God. There's blood all over this place. Looks like the dog is responsible. His jaws are covered in blood. Uh-oh. This is bad. He looks hungry. Looks like he wants to eat me. And I've only got my umbrella to defend myself. I should at least be able to fend off one dog. Yeah. Look at me go, chat. Come on. Come get me. Of course. That's fair. So, yeah, the wonky part of this game is the combat. Here we are. Ugh. Now, come on. Come on. Get over here. The AI is also, you know, astoundingly good, as you can tell. I did it. I don't feel good about it. At least I'm still alive. 
so... It sounds like there are more of these coming from above. <gasps> Screw it. I can't deal with multiple dogs with just my umbrella. I need to hide somewhere. There's a weird purple-colored liquid all over the floor. Okay, actual music is playing now. Maybe I can turn it up. Do do do. How about that? How about that? Hopefully, I want to be play it safe. I don't know if a loud noise is gonna like jump scare you all with headphones. Weird purple colored liquid. It looks poisonous. I should try to avoid it. Yeah, this, I'm glad I took the time to set up Joy to keep because I am terrible. Yeah, great AI as you can tell. Like he's tracking me, but. I'm on the other side of the wall, so it doesn't know what to do. Let's go. Oh, Jack found gun. Let's go. Yes, I can make it with this. Hold, enter the shoot. Shoot through objects. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, great. Darn. Yeah, combat in this game is basically just how how much cheese can you apply to the AI? Like you're shooting over. Yeah, you can believe that too. Thank God I found that gun over there. I have the feeling it will come in use more often than I expected. Luckily, bullets are infinite. Notes about the effects of steroids on dogs. That explains the strength of these things. Puppy shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm- yeah, it seems like the sound effects in this game are not mixed well with the background music, so if I turn up the background music, you're just gonna hear loud noises whenever I, like, open a door or something. It looks like the AI is using a mix of move towards player and move at random. Yeah, that's what I think, too. I- I know what you're talking about. Like, I've seen the options in RPG Maker before. I've messed around with them. Yeah, the moving random option is basically just to help them get around corners sometimes. All right, looks like we're done here. And now that we're done that... Oh, a man dressed in black. He disappeared before my eyes. I'm probably hallucinating. Perhaps you are, Jack, but you should follow him, because you never know. Now, I think up ahead here is where the rain finally stops falling, because, my goodness, this, this track is so loud. What is this? Nothing here? The rain finally stopped. Okay, let me turn it up now, finally. Again, you know, the game's got some issues, like that. I hope I won't need my umbrella anymore. Do-do-do-do-do-do. The poisonous liquid is here, too. Whatever emits it went past here. And... Jack found potion. Hmm. A vending machine. Sadly, it's broken. No drinks for me, I guess. And now we have a Lavender Town remix that plays most of the time. A Lavender Town, Lavender Town remix that is also super quiet. Azure City Shrine. It's inhabitants, it inhabits the spirits that are supposed to protect this city. I see how well that worked. I got ledge jump. Oh, there's Snorlax. Yeah. You just, sometimes we're just gonna have to accept that it gets a little quiet. Who was there? Show yourself, or I'll have to shoot. Oh no! What? What the hell are you? Whatever this is, I have to shoot it down. Dun 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 dun. Also, yeah, this game has some flickering light effects, and they are the worst thing ever. As you can... If you wonder why the screen kind of flashes sometime, it, it's because that's what they're doing. Get them from the shelf. Yeah, what the hell was that? Kenneth was killed by this thing. Looks like some sort of mutated reptile. What does this mean? There we go. Let's go in here, then. Jack found note. 
stove hasn't been used in quite some time. I'm gonna warn y'all right now, there is a boss fight in this game that is hilariously atrocious with how badly made it is. And it's the most easily the most infuriating part of the game. And there's a long cutscene, a long unskippable cutscene that happens right before it. And it's like the longest cutscene in the game. And I hate that part so much. So I imagine we're going to take some time there. But that's not till later. Yeah, the one I mentioned in my video, yeah. The temple itself burned down during the Storm of Rage. It is said that the lake around the temple ruins was created during the storm. Most of the survivors fled the village soon after the incident. Travelers who come by the temple are said to be cursed by the demon and die a horrible death. The cupboard is filled with mystery novels. Ooh. I can rest in the beds and heal without having to waste a potion. Potions are limited in this game, and I am probably going to try and save as many of them as I can specifically for that boss fight. There's a small bush blocking the path. Yep, can't go there. Okay, I checked out that. Do, do. That thing disappeared. Wonder what it was. Oh, there's a guy again. Okay, yeah. Like, I know the music's really quiet, but when I enter a door... Oh, it just, like, doubles how much the, the, the audio spikes on that thing there. I can't really describe it. Looks like a letter. Dear Celio, I know you will try to do everything to prevent me from doing this, but I think that the time has finally come. I will test the device today. The idea of teleportation might sound nice enough, but everything could go wrong. I know that you're worried. Maybe the experiment will fail, and these are my last words. So I wish you luck with your work on the device, making the invisible plain to see. Yours faithfully, Bill. The cupboard is filled with books about medicine and anatomy. Make a save. So yeah, you can heal at whenever you want at a, at a bed. So I'm trying to avoid using potions. Yeah, a few hours sleep would, would heal that. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, perfect. Whatever, I can heal this later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, bro. There we go. You can't leave. I don't think you can leave a room once you once a battle starts, by the way. An odd machine with which might be a fuse box has a big Gene Co logo on it. The telescope gives me a perfect view of the moon. Gives me a perfect view of the moon. Look this. Okay. Jack found a potion. Maybe I can turn maybe I can get away with turning up just slightly. Just slightly, but that's all I can do, because I'm just worried a sound effect's gonna just destroy your eardrums if you're just passively watching with headphones. Yeah, by the way, chat, there's another thing I think I mentioned in my video. So later on, there's a bed that's intentionally designed to be out of bounds. But the dev made a mistake, and it's actually possible to walk towards that bed without even cheating. And if you check that bed, the game the game gives you a message saying that you shouldn't be there, and the game will intentionally crash. So it was it was a thing trying to punish cheaters, but in reality, um, I found a way to get to it, thinking that it was legit, and I died, and I lost even more progress. I was pretty pretty mad about that. Looks like that's everything here. Always save, you never know. Let's head over here. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Nothing down here, though. I did do something like that in Turtlehead, except the thing was actually out of bounds. Hold up, what did the sign say? Azure Museum. Welcome to Azure Museum. Uh-oh. Let's go. Take him out. 
it's hard not to not to chuckle at some of the combat sections. It's okay, I know. Cause it's not really AI. It, it really is. Just seems like they're set to move randomly. All these meteorites are taken from the Azure City itself. Fragments of a meteorite which crashed 200 years ago. They have a green radiance. I'm pretty sure if a meteor that's still glowing green would not be in a museum like that. It would probably be in some lab. Don't have the strength to push the boulder away. The vending machine is jammed. No drinks for me. There we go. This looks like Pokemon, but I'm sure it's sure it isn't. Oh, don't! What are you talking about? This is Pokemon. I'm playing Pokemon on my Game Boy right now. Buh, 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 buh. This seems to be a police station of Azure City. The door is locked, though. Okay. That actually reminds me. I remember when I first played this, I got a bunch of messages from like probably like there probably had to be kids or something. They were asking me how do I patch Pokemon like red or blue to for to play this. I'm like. Dude, that's not that's not how it works. It's locked. Can you imagine if you could patch red and blue to play this on your Game Boy? Don't have the strength to push the boulder away. There's another shop. I do like the layout of this town. I recall mentioning that in my video train station. Oh, spooky music. Yeah, I love how the music is so quiet, but when I pick up a potion, it's like da 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 da! Right in your ear. That's why the volume has to kind of stay a little lower. It's because of that stuff. Otherwise, it get really annoying. Do -do -do -do. Don't have the strength to push this boulder away. Yeah, the word strength is... Uh, chat, question, question here. Is it actually misspelled, or is there a, um, a different way of spelling strength? I don't understand. I believe the creator of this is German. I don't... At the very least, I don't think English was their first language when they translated it. Or am I thinking of Mr. Prinz in uh, Dusk and Dawn? Because that's two separate devs. Don't have the strength to push the bowler away. This is on Game Boy. You just gotta get it from the garage sale. Let's see. Whatever this is, it's blocking the way. Yeah, they did misspell Corporation earlier, didn't they? Door is locked. Need a key. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Shoot! Welcome to Bullet Hell. They failed. This bookcase is filled with fantasy novels. TV set, no electricity. <gasps> Another Nidorino thing. At least I'm assuming that's what it is. Take him out. Turn on radio? I don't think I should. I don't think I should. Book is filled with various video games. I think it was in Dusk or Dawn version, the creator just, when you turn on a radio, it plays like copyrighted music. And that's not a good idea. This bookcase is filled with PC games. There's a note between the games. It reads, don't forget to open the windows. These bookshelves contain, wait, D&D &D books? Wow, I used to play this back in the day. This case is filled with video games. I don't remember a puzzle about the... Uh, the window's somewhere. But I guess to try and open them all. Let's go over here. It sounds like something happened upstairs. There's a very weird mechanism. Helix fossil. Okay. Chat, this was before the fossil became a big joke. Oh, that dude. Where'd he go? This game's... From, yeah, this game's from 2013. It's like... Oh, geez, probably seven years old now. Yeah, I can quick math. Potion. What was that? Ah. <gasps> uh, 
my head. Where the hell am I? The stench of blood has given me nausea. What kind of place is this? Man, I need to get out of here. I'm sorry, I can't help but read this in my, you know, satirical action hero voice. I gotta save the day. I gotta get out of here, guys. So much tension right now. Where am I? How did I get here? Did that thing knock me out? Okay. No, that can't be. Uh, I don't feel like I got a hit to my head. Gene Co. Am I in the Gene Co. building? Are they behind all of this? But how did I get here? Well, I need to get out of here first. Just give me a pair of sunglasses. I'll be a uh, cool McCool guy. Yeah, that is a cool, cool idea for a name I just made. Okay, then. Jack found HM4, strength. I somehow feel stronger. I feel like I can push boulders out of the way now. You know, because he can. Anyways, we're just going to take a look around the Gene Co. building. Seems like a nice place. Let's check the bloody door. <gasps> Excuse me, sir. You're not allowed in that room. Oh! Dragon Ball Z punch. Got done. <gasps> he said a bad word. <laughs> At least I can still move. I should not have survived that. I need some rest. And then, then I will beat these stupid bullies. Whatever these bullying teleporting aliens are <laughs> supposed to be. Pokemon 4 Kids Invasion. That's what it is now. I make it a point now, chat. I don't have to swear to make the videos watchable. Because talking already makes them unwatchable for many. What's next? A jelly donut? You never know. So, quick question about... When I opened the door and it played that loud sound effect, how loud was that? Because I, I saw the thing just spike. And that's why we have the volume low. It almost, it kind of dipped into the red there. I'm really worried about the mixing because the mixing is just kind of bad. Let's go. Loud, but not horribly so. Okay, then I had it set just right. Now I'm good, chat. I had a rest. Remember, if you fall out of a building, just take a nap and you'll be good. It's like the logic that, um, college professors have for their students when they get sick the day before a test. Let's just take a nap. What's wrong? Who cares if you, if you were in a car accident? Just, just take a nap and it'll be fine. Key to police station. Oh, yeah, you know, they just leave that line around. Generic painting of a landscape. We've got six potions. We're going to keep saving those. By the way, I'm being careful about what button I set it to, because if you press the potion button when you're at full health, you will use them anyway. At least I'm pretty sure you do. I don't feel like testing it. No, in all fairness, this is a really cool game. It has a ton of work put into it, especially for being something from 2013 for RPG Maker stuff, but it, it, there are some silly things that we can have a chuckle at, but still enjoy the game. I heard something from downstairs. Jack found note. I genuinely do think this is a really cool game. I wouldn't be, like, replaying it if I wasn't. Still better combat than Resident Evil Gaiden. <laughs> Refrigerator. Sadly, it's empty. A simple oven hasn't been used. Get jumped by a monster, sleep it off. 
Let's sleep it off, sailor. We got work to do. Oh, great. Another one. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Whatever, I can go to a bed. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Okay. Kind of an awkward position. It was kind of hard to move around them. Remember, when you shoot, you get super slow. And you're gonna have to wait for it to, the, it to wear off, I guess? Continue. Now, what is it that I didn't... Oh, I'm back here. Okay, whatever. I didn't want to use a potion. All right, then. Let's go. We'll just make it safe. Just try to go on forward. It's all good. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. I should have checked the volume again for that. Oops. Looked out there. <sighs> hey, friend. That sounds like RE2 um, walking sound effects. There he goes. F. <gasps> He's saying F to pay respects. At least can still move. Is the heavy breathing me or the game? Do I really sound like that much of a stock sound effect? And then I will beat those bullies. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. You have a potty mouth, friend. Maybe I should go somewhere else first since I have HM strength. First, let me go to a bed. I know there's one in here, right? Door's locked. No, no, it was this house, I think. Don't get bullied, chat. Just take a nap next to the corpses. We're safe. We're happy. We're wholesome. Always make sure you save. So clearly they want me to go down there first, but what if I... Here's a novel idea. What if I didn't? I think this is one way, yeah. Can use strength elsewhere, couldn't I? Found a fossil. No, the key to police station was back there. I just want to save it so I don't have to do that every time. This is this place. So I can go down here. Yeah, I can go in here. What do we have down here? Fossils of a recently extinct species of fish. Judging by the picture, they look like red carps. Fossils of recently extinct, they look like carps. Okay, are they all carps? Meteorite from the moon looks like a normal rock. Small reproduction of the first spaceship to visit the moon. Really gonna use those assets. Whole case filled with jars containing small animal like snakes and insects. They look alive. Okay, ancient amber with insect inclusion in it. Huge scorpion inside. Oh. So I need both the helix and the dome fossil to open that door, so we're not gonna- we don't- can't really go there. At least I know I need to come here once I get the thing. Museum does look nice. It's weird to think about how in red and blue there's just like- there's, like, one building that has, like, a unique tile set, and a game like this can just sort of turn that tile set into a whole... whole area instead of just being one room. I'm talking about stuff like the restaurant. Oh, thing disappeared. Wonder what it was. Why did that message play again? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna need to go get the thing. Hang on. I need cut for that. Locked. Was there not a PC nearby? I can go in here. Isn't this where I died before? No. How did this thing get in here? 
All right, well, nothing I can do about it. They really don't want to let me go anywhere, do they? Uh, okay, looked like I couldn't get out for a second. Maybe Jack keeps thinking about it. I'm trying to just find a save point, but apparently I can't do that. Oh, come on. I walked to the wrong room. I'm just gonna have to do this fight now. Ugh. Oh, I swear. Come on. Do not make me use a potion here. Yeah, cool. Hang on. Oh, it's so awkward. Alright, it's done. Crying out loud. That annoys me. Dr. Orm, genetic engineer. Only closed, nothing unusual. Locked. Oh, finally. And a bed, too. Key to Gene Co. There it is. What? The hell was that thing? Looks like those lizard creatures have a bigger brother. Hope I don't see that thing again. Ho <laughs> ho Little did he know, he would see that again. Take a nap. That Pokemon thing. Alright, game is saved and we're healed up. We should be good. I really did not want to have to use a potion, yeah. I'm just going I'm just checking one thing right quick. Oh, that's good. Boo 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 boo. Uh, I tried to press start to open a menu. I didn't look at this yet. Diary of a person called Dr. Orm. Orm? Orme? Does it matter? December 12th, 95. After 10 years at Gene Co., I finally ha have everything I need. I should be able to fulfill my goal soon. Let's see who will have the last laugh, Gene Co. I will be the first one to shake the world with Serum D. December 30th, there are a couple of spliced lizards in my basement now. The new species should grow up to human height. If my calculations are correct, they should grow to full size within weeks. Finally, everyone will see my genius. Hey Carl, what do you got down there in your basement? Oh, you know, I just thought I'd grow some human-sized lizards. To show everyone how smart I am. How does that make you smart, Carl? Can you make li can you grow lizards in your basement? Didn't think so. January 3rd, the first fully grown lizard. The first success, I shall call him Nido King. 96 January 10th, 96. Strange things are happening. I think I saw something on the street just now. Now you know when the entire town starts collectively keeping diaries that there is going to be a serious incident. There are odd noises coming from the basement. I have to check if all my children are right. Why do you have... Oh, he means the, the lizard. That's what he means, right? There we go. Um... Hey, door's open. I could go down there. That would be a dumb idea, though. Oh! Oh, crap. You look tougher than the others. Are you a leader of these critters? It sounds like you are confirming it. If this is what has to be done, die. You must die. Nido King, he's got red eyes, so you know he's evil. Let's do it. Okay. Also, take a moment to admire the light effect coming from the doorway. That looks really cool with Game Boy assets on like this. Like, obviously you couldn't really see that on a, on a Game Boy, but... Oh, great. Yeah, okay. Hey, stop that. See, boss AI runs forward a few steps, and I'm dead. He cornered me, <laughs> and he just took all my health. I do not want to use a potion. The potions are being saved for the really, really hard part, so we don't have to watch a cutscene a thousand times, because I... 
ideally would like to do this in one stream. Ideally. The light effect is something called a fog. It's a special graphic that can be overlaid on top of the map. I mean, yeah, I kind of figured that, but... I just think it looks really cool. Even though, like, you know, it's not something real Game Boy assets would have. Yeah. This game loves to put words before boss fights. So... And we, we can't also skip through the text. So, uh, get comfortable with this. If I get stuck on that boss fight for like an hour, then we're probably not beating- we're probably not beating this in one sitting. But I would like to remain optimistic. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm gonna avoid the purple stuff. I'm trying to stay behind the thing here. I think I got him. No, okay. Oops. Oh, that one doesn't hurt me? Not for sure it would. Here we go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, this, this game doesn't have AI. It just has, like, it's kind of using the RPG Maker generic, um thing where it just lets it, it just sort of lets them move toward the player vaguely while also letting them take random steps sometimes so they don't get stuck it's it's very awkward to do combat in this game but it is kind of cool i will give it that although maybe if it, what do you think chat if it was like turn-based combat or turn-based combat i wouldn't i don't think i would mind it but usually people don't know how to balance that those kind of stuff for fan games, I find, but we'll see. Like a first-person sort of combat screen, like Earthbound or whatever. Like any RPG, you know what I mean? I just don't want people to think I mean like an actual Pokemon game. I think that would look kind of cool. Again, that's just me. Listen to me tell people how to make their own, make their games differently. Nothing stopping anybody from making it themselves. Yeah. Let's just, uh... Oh, my dude. I think the neighbor's dog is barking right now. I don't think you guys can hear that. Uh, whatever. Shoot! Uh, okay, yeah, I'm trying to do this as safely as possible, because as you can see, he can hit you multiple times if he just gets you by a wall. Again, I do definitely think the effort is really cool, but it just kind of is is weird <laughs> to play this game with how it's designed. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Walk back and forth. All right, he's dead. Finally. Is there anything down here I can pick up? HP up. Yes. That was definitely worth it. Technically, the boss is optional, by the way. Some bosses in this game are optional, but you kind of want this HP up for later on. You want this stuff if you can get it. And next, we're going to go save, because that's what I'm going to do a lot if I can. PC is save. There we go. And it's the other house over here that has the key to the station. Was the station in the southern part of town, or... I think I know what building it is. Key to police station. There's another... I just heard something. Must have come from downstairs. Jack found a note. Covered film with books about cooking and baking. Whoever lived here must have been a determined cook. We're filled with books about health and medicine. Yeah, get him. I think there's like an optional item you can get that increases your shot speed, which you also absolutely want to get. Um. Come on. There we go. Nothing to worry about. So now I've got the key to the station. HM4. I also got a key to Gene Co., but do I want to go there? I don't think I've went to this house yet, actually. Or this one. Man, I love the layout of this section of town a lot. It looks really cool. 
I wish that, like, a real Pokemon town would have this layout. Instead of being, like, five houses and being called a city. Okay. When there's multiple of these, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Okay. There we go. Because they can, it's just kind of random. They can kind of get you when it's unfair. Whatever. Jack found a note. I don't know what those do. December 2nd. Suspicious man named Lou J. Ben came to Azure City a couple months ago, or days ago, and bought the shop in the north. He doesn't talk much and seems to be hiding something. Furthermore, I feel like I've seen him before. Is it possible that he's been here already? If so... Why would he change his name? Nothing here. Cupboard filled with files and notes about several people from this region. Looks like a psychiatrist lived here. Cupboard filled with files and notes. Looks like a psychiatrist lived here. Alright. Now let's go over here. I'm gonna just fix how I'm sitting right here. Oof, been doing a lot of sitting today. Oh, there's a tree there. Now's probably a good time for a slight stretch, why don't we? Ah, that's better. As the doctor in SpongeBob once said, your butt's all better. I guess I'll go to the station. I need to go to the station or Gene Co. Yeah, it's not super linear. Oh? I didn't pick this up earlier. Oh, I didn't pick it up because the door was locked, duh. Idiot. Files about unusual occurrences in Azure City. Most of them are about a murder case in 76. I know everything about that case. It was never solved. Is he walking around with one eyes closed? I, Dude, he fell out of a building. Don't have, tell him to stand up sh straight after that. Files about unusual occurrences in Azure City. Most of them are about a murder case. Same one. Turn on radio? Let's not. He fell out of a building twice. Jack found a note. Files about all crimes that happened in Azure City. One entry is particularly outstanding. In 76, an unexplained accident happened in Gene Co. Dozens of people died. The corpses were horribly disfigured. Well, that sounds good. Chat, I don't, call me crazy, but I am getting the feeling that this Gene Co. place probably has something to do with all the horrifying things happening here. Now, I know it's, it's, that sounds crazy, but, you know, you never, I, I just got a hunch. What was I... Right, so I went in there, and I didn't really get anything, did I? Okay. Gene Co. With the alien-looking guys being here, I assume that this place holds the secret to everything that has happened here. Okay. And now we have Sylph Co. Meaty. Also, yes, this place has a, is supposed to do like a light flickering effect, and it's the worst thing ever. F1 information. Software engineering. So let's have ourselves a little look around, and everything will no doubt be absolutely fine, right? Absolutely fine. Boop, 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 boop. Loud, or a vending machine, this one seems to work, but I have no change. Metal wall is blocking the way. I don't know if it's even, like, much of, like, a... What the hell's going on here? Yeah, maybe a little bit of a photosensitivity warning, but, yeah, the light flickering effect is so unnecessary. File 2. Looks like the notes of someone who worked at Gene Co. Read? I feel like the events of 76 are being repeated once again. I hear weird noises from the upper floors. I'm scared. Last time this happened, we had the Azure City murders. All the people who worked on Project D, Project D died. How can I promote a company with such shadowy intents and unsettling secrets? Project D. What is Project D? Did Project D cause the Azure City murders? 
Okay. There are several ideas for advertisements on the billboard. Hang on. Yeah, let it pass. Because that's how electricity works. Vending machine seems to work, have no change. Management. There are several financing plans for the course of the year 96. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Try not to spend too long unnecessarily because I need I don't wanna deal with the flashing effect so much. Cafeteria. Okay. Oh wait, I don't need to check the vending machine. Do, 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 do. Vending machine is completely empty. And TV set. Looks like it burned down from the inside. Various machines, or magazines, sports magazines. So it looks like there was no reason to come in here. Why would there be? I don't even know if the elevator works, but I just want to take the stairs so it's not confusing to me. Yeah, there we go. Research. I'm just making sure I get everything and not confusing myself. Bookcase filled with encyclopedia. Anything back here? All sorts of medicine and chemicals. Okay. Luckily, the game doesn't... I don't think the game hides any items on generic-looking backgrounds. Um, everything that you can... Oops. There we go. Everything that you can pick up is, is basically an overworld Pokeball. Switch? Nothing happened. The switch seems to be broken. I need some tools to fix it. There should be a toolbox in the bike shop in the southern part of the city. Ah, yes. Now I need to go all the way back there. At least they told me where it is. Billboard with photos made by an, elect uh, an electron microscope. I have no idea what they're supposed to be depicting. Looks like the notes from people working here. The general structure of a newly found creature's DNA is quite remarkable. Depending on the temperature, it's able to change completely. This might be the reason it was able to change its shape at, at will. According to my calculations, this might lead to the loss of genetical consistency in the DNA of any creatures it's injected in. Got a note. I think if you get all the notes, you find something. But I don't know if I ever did that. It's locked. Ah, of course, I can't use the elevator anyway. So now I need to leave. Door doesn't appear to have a lock. Maybe I need to find a switch. All right. So now I need to go all the way back to the bike shop to get a tool so I can fix the button, which I can then push and then use the elevator. It makes perfect sense. Why wouldn't it make any other sense than that? That's it. Did it just say genetical? That's not a word then, is it? <laughs> oh. I'm telling you guys, genetical is a word. I learned it in Scientology class. Who is that man? Who is this man? What the hell is his business here? And down here we have what? Uh, where's the bike shop again? Is it further down? Yeah, right here. This is all I need to fix the switch. Jack got a toolbox. I think it's- you just say genetic, it's not genetical. <laughs> yeah. Of all the things, this is what we're stuck on now. Jack probably should have called for backup at this point, I would say. I mean, can he even call anybody out here? I certainly don't know. Where are these palm tree assets from? They're, they don't look like they're from Pokemon, unless I'm forgetting something. But you can definitely see the, some of the Gen 2 trees and stuff there. Alright, back to the top we go. Got seven potions, that sounds pretty good. Luckily I just know to go to the top. Oh wait, a save room down there. Or a save thing. Oh, I can check it from the back, I didn't realize that. That's good. 
It doesn't appear to have... Beach on Cinnabar? Did it? Safari Zone? That does sound... That does sound right. I think. Uh, I don't think Beach and Cinnabar is a thing, no. Let's fix this. I'm sure someone will point it out. Point the thing. That should be it. Now it should func be functional again. All right, there we go. I fixed the switch. Kind of unnecessary to make me run all the way back like that, if you ask me. Looks like I found you, you alien son of a bitch. What the hell are you? You should not have come here. The preparations are soon to be completed. He will awaken. Wow, Alkazam cry is really loud. Do not try to stop us, for it is futile. What the hell are you blabbering about? What are you aliens doing? I cannot let you go any further. Please leave or die. Okay. Please leave or I'll run back and forth awkwardly until you die. Oh. He teleports. The game did, in fact, establish this. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's, it's so hard to shoot and turn around. Uh, a problem in this game that's also annoying is you can't turn in place. You have to take a step forward in order to turn. So that also makes aiming really awkward against opponents like this. Like, it's, it's an issue you wouldn't even think about until I probably just said it now, but it really is a bad, bad thing. Of course he teleports. That's his thing. How else is he going to get through Purity Forest? Okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. I don't think Alakazam actually has uh, an official overworld sprite for Gen 1 or 2, so this is pr clearly a custom thing. Don't you dare do it again. Okay. There we go. There we are. Now you're gone. Some weird charts and drawings, I have no idea what they represent. Probably my eyes hurting from this uh, light effect testing chamber. Please. Please don't kill me. I... I'm not here to kill you. I'm a detective. I will get you out of here. R really? Yes. I'll get you out of here for sure. Don't be afraid, um... What's your name? It's Susie. Susie Green. Nice to meet you, Susie. My name is Jack. Can you tell me what happened to you? I woke up here one morning. There was this monster. He was giving me food and water every day. I don't know why. That's terrible. How long have you been in here? I have no idea. I just want to get out of here. I want to see my brother again. Okay. I'll bring you someplace safe. Follow me. Okay, Jack. Alright, now let's leave. Just ignore the dead body there. So now that I've... Jack. What's the matter? What was that monster? I... I'm not sure yet. What matters now is your safety. Is my family okay? What? Why are you asking? Well, you were hired to rescue me, right? Um... Yes, we have to get out of here. No more talking. There wasn't a door here last time I checked. I need to look for another switch, it seems. Is everything alright? Don't worry. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure she can't take damage from this. Jack. What is it? I feel dizzy. My head. Your eyes. What happened to your eyes, Susie? Are you okay? I... I don't feel well. What... What's happening to me? What... What's happening? Where are these voices coming from? Leave me alone. My... My head... That's such a bad, bad sound effect for this. I'm, I'm becoming a monster. J Jack, help me, please. J Jack, what? Why? He, he, immediately, he just shoots. Uh, I didn't hit a switch, but the door is now uh, is now hit. I should go back to that save room before I progress. Yeah, here it is. Save it too. Like she didn't even try to attack him or anything. She just ch her, all of that happened was her appearance change. He's just like, oh, oh no, monster! Pow, pow. Can't go in that. Don't want to go in that. Uh, can't use the elevator. Testing chambers checked. Experiments. Okay. Oh, there's a save room again in here anyway. Well, whatever. Is there something down here I can get? No, nope, can't check that. This is a bedroom. Yeah, let's take a rest, chat. We definitely need it. Uh... What the hell is this smell? Oh. I fall for this every single time I play this game. The room is filled with poisonous gas. I need to do something against that. Get rest here. No. For the windows. What the hell were these things? First lizards, teleporting aliens, now ghosts too? This place is insane. <laughs> to be fair, they did give you a save point before walking into this room, so I don't- I wouldn't say it's that cheap. Like, you have no idea of knowing that there's even healing in this room at all, so you would definitely save first if you were smart. Okay. There's this now. F8 storage. I mean, the floor did say experiments. There we go. Potion. Now we come to the bane of my existence. Elementary school level boulder puzzles. Let's just try again. Wait, can I go down? No, I can't. Uh, how do I... There we go. Push that because we can. We can just push this one all the way forward. Key to elevator. Well, thank goodness we got that now. What about the shelves? Books are mostly burnt. Can't read them. Am I gonna show off the crash bed? Yeah, I guess I could if I get to it. I don't think that's till, like, near the end of the game, though. Can't read them. Anyways. 
That anyone knows the TV is the oh wait no the TV doesn't have the 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 table that's usually below it because it doesn't need to. I just realized that Pokemon in general always has that. Is that is that an item there? Oh, it is, and I just sealed it off. Great. Looks like the notes of someone who worked at Geneco. Read? Yeah, sure. All the generators have fallen out. Oh, this is from 76. The short circuit has left all of our test subjects free to roam the laboratories. I survived. Thank God I survived. The work on Project D was immediately cancelled. We've lost everything. The sector's been shut down. I'm sure I can reset the room. Books are mostly burnt. Let me just go do that. Because I want to get that item. You can just see the top half of the ball there. It looks like a choice between item and notes, yeah. Potion. I'll take it. I got nine of them. I hope that goes up to the double digits, because if I just if it just eats my further potion pickups, I'm gonna be mad I saved them all. I think I should make a save after doing that room. Let's do that. File two. This playthrough's going pretty smoothly so far, I'd say. Saving is wholesome. Yes, it is. Moose, uh, wholesome and moomintastic. I almost just said moosome, like a combination of moomin and wholesome. But that sounds dumb. This is it. This is the place where I got punched out of the window. I should find the remaining alien-looking guys here. Or I could look elsewhere first. F10. Hey, fellas! Finally found you guys. This time you won't get away with messing with me. We cannot let you go any further. Shut up. I'm not gonna stop here. Prepare to die. Uh-oh. Ugh. Uh, it's not really safe for me to move here. Oh, great. Okay, I got him. Oh, this is... yeah. Again, the combat definitely is ambitious for, like, an RPG Maker thing, but still. It's it's definitely very, very awkward. Shoot. We're playing shoot game. Nothing up there. Will that PC activate when I can do it? Oh wait, I think that I think that door there leads to the boss fight I was I was referring to the the really annoying one with the boss with the long cutscene before it. You can move side to side, but only if you're already like have started shooting. It is so awkward to just m move around when you do this. Okay. There we go. Now I can save. But, first this. Potion. Okay, I got ten of them. Nice. Hello. Welcome to the stream, friend. Boop, boop, boop. I'm almost positive that that door leads to that annoying fight. So we're gonna go heal. That's what we're gonna do. But I also need to check out some other, other parts here. Yeah, you could call this Resident Evil Pokemon. I wonder if I should go into... I don't even know if the door is locked or anything. I should check that. But first, let's 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 go sleep again and let's go save. Ugh. Alright, we're healed. Potions have been saved. I'm saving them for absolute endgame. I'm gonna get to the end of the game without even using them at this rate. But I'm just trying to avoid having to see a dang cutscene over and over and over and over. First, let's... I'm just gonna go in here. How about that? Let's check a look at the, the scary room. Hey, is that Lorelei? Yeah, she's dead. Well... 
I'm sure I'll see her next Wednesday like usual. Stuck in a room. It's locked. That guy has just been ripped in half. There's just nothing here. Or is this the boss fight up here? I actually don't remember. Today is Wednesday. Well, next Wednesday, then. Oh, and this is the room I started at. Or, no, we're first arrived here at. Maybe it would be better to save here? Probably not, actually. What are you recording behind the screens? It was just a casual joke. Oh, there's a save room right outside here. Never mind, then. Yep, this is it. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> Who? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Jack. You may call me Professor Chen. How do you know my name? Who are you? Are you one of these aliens? <laughs> his loud is so laugh. His, his, no, I said his loud is so laugh. His laugh is so loud, sorry. Sorry, I can't I can't talk chat, ever. But I'm neither... I. Bleh, those are not aliens, thus neither am I. We all have our secrets, Jack. You've got a, you've got a fair share of your own. What are you saying? What does all this mean? <laughs> The creatures you call aliens once were human. Yes, you've been hunting and brutally shooting them to death. <laughs> and still, you did it despite not, despite having that feeling and knew they were, didn't you, Jack? You don't seem hurt. You are not human, you son of a bitch. Well, what are you? By the way, I can't speed up the text scroll by holding down the button. The text moves at a set speed for the scene. <laughs> oh, but I am as human as you are. Do you still wonder how you survived that fall? <laughs> it is the power of the HMs. They enhance your genetic data, Jack. Professor Chen is one of Oak's names in Europe. French, I think. Okay, HM4 was neither the first nor the last of them. You know, I created them with the DNA of Mew. They were supposed to augment us humans. Are you... Are you saying that these aliens are the result of these so-called HMs? Are you reading my mind with the help of those HMs? <laughs> that is right, Jack. We discovered plenty of them, with differing effects. You are a very special subject, Jack. You should have turned into one of these... How do you call them? Alien-looking guys? That means... You will turn into one of them, too. <laughs> that is quite correct. It's a matter of hours until I turn into one of them. But that doesn't matter. It ends here. I've lost. Everything is complete now. You cannot win anymore, except if you take the remaining HMs. <laughs> if you are not too scared to do that, that is. I know that you are not the only, only here to solve this case. It's personal for you. The Azure City murders. That doesn't matter now. Where are all the people that vanished? What did you do to them, you bastards? <laughs> I don't know what they did to them. Ask the others. You'll find them on floor nine. As for me, I've given up. But first, you will have to beat me. Show me what you got, Jack. Show me your true potential. D -d 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 Done. The professor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I do not have to watch that cutscene again, because this fight is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I made a big point of this in my video, but as it turns out... Yeah, now he teleports. Turns out Professor Oak's lab was not designed for a boss fight. Also, he heals. Tell me how this is enjoyable. Tell me in what universe is this an enjoyable part? 
<laughs> my goodness. It's not. I know it's not. Okay. You kind of just have to shoot everything through the walls and get lucky. I'm actually getting a, a, extremely lucky right now. Also, he healed again. Oh, oh my goodness, that was great. He, he, I heard him heal again. Is this why Game Freak got rid of HMs? Yes. They were too powerful. Come on, walk down. Walk down. Walk down. Oh my... <sighs> he wouldn't be laughing if it wasn't fun. Yeah, that's why we need lots of potions. Because that can happen and ruin your whole dang playthrough. Oh my god. Oh no, I lost. I didn't hit the potion button in time. Okay. Alright, now we have to watch that cutscene again. I hope you like that cutscene. And this is why I saved all my potions for this part. Because this is the most absurd thing that's part of the game. <laughs> Who are you? Listen, I'm gonna mash the button so you know I'm not bullcrapping about the text. No, it, it, it's all set. It's all set. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you laugh with madness. What are you saying? It's the last boss? Oh, far from it. Far from it. There's still a lot more to go through. But yeah, this is... I did not want to spend the most of the stream stuck on this part. <laughs> because this is such a long... This is like the longest cutscene in the game before a boss. And, he, and if he gets you trapped against a wall, you just die. And you have to either spend, like, five potions or you die. So, I think he's easily the worst part of this game, by far. Like, the other bosses, even if some of them are kind of dumb, a lot more manageable. I remember some of them have some kind of cheese. But this guy is just straight up, like, why? Absolutely, why? Not only that, but it, because it uses the layout for Professor Oak's lab... You, this is not a boss fight arena. It was never designed to be a boss fight arena. It's just not. Boop, 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 boop. Anyways. Are we at the point where he, uh... <laughs> we fight yet? Yeah. He just gets to do whatever he wants. Everything's complete now. You can't win anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Trying to stretch a little bit. If I die again, I'm just going to spend this section mashing the A button while I stretch. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Alright. We're still we're still in the scene. <laughs> we're still in this cutscene. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> I hate this part so much. Okay. <laughs> bum bum bum. Let's go. Okay, I got lucky. <laughs> okay, I'm getting uh, really lucky here. It's random which part of the room he teleports to when you hit him <laughs> enough times. Oh, this is really good start. Really good start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's, that's not lucky. Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's like the best spot for him to get stuck in. Where is he? Oh, of course he's there. Oh, great. How'd he knock me that way, first of all? Oh, I'm never gonna get a better, more, better RNG for this fight. Come on. Oh, got lucky he teleported after just one. <gasps> oh my goodness. That was so clean. I'm sorry, Agatha. 
I have failed to save you. Instead, I only used one potion. That's... I don't think I've ever had a better Professor Chen fight in my entire life. But I think you all get the point. This this is very a uh, very obnoxious part because of the cutscene alone. Yeah, he didn't heal as much. Instead, I brought doom upon all of us. Yeah, why were we fighting him anyway? Also, we get three items. Chen's key. HM1, cut. I somehow feel like I can cut small bushes with my bare hands now. Oh, just imagine getting, like, a splinter all on, like, the side of your hand because you try and karate chop something. Ugh. HP up. Oh, I'm gonna use the potions later. Don't worry, I'm gonna spam them so I don't have problems with other- with the harder boss fights, but... Yeah. And this is exactly why I hoarded them all. Because I did- I did not want to watch that cutscene, like, ten times today. Someone needs to time how long that scene actually is. Anyways, let's read his diary. November 10th, an expedition to the tropical jungle on Faraway Island. We found a feline creature able to levitate and shapeshift. I decided to name the creature Mew, after the word mutant. December 1st, we were able to retrieve some DNA samples from the creature, and I am confident we can clone it. December 3rd, my wife's illness is getting worse every day. I wonder if I could use Mew's genetic material to create a cure. I'm currently working on devices able to change the genetic data of humans to those of Mew. This might change everything science has taught us about the human body. January 5th. It works. I named the devices HMs. I created ten of them so far. If humans come in contact with them, they gain supernatural abilities. My plans have backfired. Everyone who touched an HM turned into a weird, inhuman creature. All these creatures want is to clone Mew... Looks like they want their true master back. I'm obliged to help them in their quest. January 11th. What have I done? My wife has died from her illness and I was too blind to realize it. There are giant lizards roaming the streets. Is that the work of the new humans I created? They seem to have teleported all citizens of Azure City away. The city is now a mere shadow of itself. All the houses are empty. What are they doing? And why do they need me? They're using some of them for experiments. Where the others are, I don't know. I have destroyed Azure City, and I'm responsible for the death of many. January 25th. I'm working day and night to clone Mew. I don't know why I'm doing this. The new humans call themselves Alakazam. They seem to think that Mew is some sort of god and want to clone... Want the clone to turn them back into humans. If he is so powerful, could he even bring my wife back from the dead? February 10th. The clone of Mew is born. He looks different. He's weak and fragile. Alakazams are looking after him. Alright then. Some graduation certificates. Graduation certificates. Yeah, this is the same version from the vi that video I made. Alright. Now I have HM cut. So we can go outside and chop some trees down. You know, we needed superhuman hum abilities for that one. Ugh. Let's leave. F1. Get me out of this place. I have had enough. I'm gonna leave a terrible review for this place when I'm done. Oh, let's try going up here first. Axes don't exist, exactly. Jack use cut. Hua! Will this go in the old Nightmare Invasion playlist? Probably just in the RPG Maker Games playlist. <gasps> I'm finally back home. <gasps> what? What does he mean, home? Hey, it's the room from the cu opening cutscene. Father's office. The logo of Gene Co. is everywhere. What does this mean? Did my father work for them? I, I never knew. It looks like the diary of my father, John Blue. Read? Yes. April 28th, 76. The experiments brought us nothing but complications once again. We used Serum D on different animals to augment their genetic data and bring them one step higher. Or higher on the evolutionary ladder. However, the mutations are uncontrollable. Um, this music? 
I think it's Sprout Tower? Maybe? Whatever. However, the mutations are uncontrollable. We have created uncontrollable monsters. They're planning on using the serum on humans. I don't even want to imagine the effects it would have on humans. Uncontrollable killing machines. I simply cannot allow it to happen. I'm working on an antidote. There has to be a way to stabilize the genes. May 12th, 76. There's no way. There's just no way. I can only try to sabotage their plans. I don't want my son to grow up in a world full of monstrous mutants. May 19th. Severe hardware failure. They'll never know that I did it. They're forced to close down the basement. I've developed what might be called an antidote. It preserves the human genetic structure to prevent them from mutating. However, it might have some unusual side effects. Only if they manage to use Serum D on humans will I use the antidote. It's too risky. I found Jack drinking some of the antidote. I don't know what might happen to him. I'm seriously worried. I'm afraid some of my co-workers may have found out about the sabotage. We need to leave the city. I need to report everything to the authorities. It's a dire situation. I don't know whom to trust right now. Father, you tried to prevent all of this from happening. Is that the reason why the HMs are not turning me into one of those poor creatures? Because he drank an antidote, like, 20 years ago? Where's the antidote now, though? Chemicals. A graduation certificate. Do. And there's just body outlines on the ground. You know, that's my favorite Pokemon Gen 1 asset. I should probably let my let myself heal. Uh, you're not gonna heal sleep? Alright, fine then, mi you mister. Don't sleep in your parents' house. Blue's house. Dabba dee dabba die. We're not sleeping through that night. I know. I know. I know how it works. And more like a vaccine than an antidote, then, if it works like this. But you don't drink those, right? I'm pretty sure you don't. Like I said, chat, I'm not like uh, a science -y expert. Make another save, because we can. Is there no bed? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bed. Boo, boo, boo. You could drink it, but it wouldn't work. And this is where we draw, draw the line on realism, I see. Anyways, now that I have cut... Let's check everything on the northern map first, and then we'll go back to the southern part of town. Maybe that's why the dad was so shocked. Fair enough. Also, hey, burn tower in the center. <clears throat> we all know why that's there. Do... Immersion ruined. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, this game is available online. I literally, in the middle of the stream, d I pulled up the old RPG Maker page and downloaded it again. I had to do some technical troubleshooting because I wanted to make sure that... Was there not another... Oh, here it is. I I mentioned this in my video, I think, and it was what happened in the original playthrough. Oh, hang on. Oh, great. But the font for RPG Maker 2003 on newer hardware is kind of really glitchy and blobs together. So you have to like install a different font and that's what I did so the game is a lot more readable. I don't- did, chat, did I do that when I made the yellow channel video? I, th I don't think the original old, old playthrough did that though. There's nothing here. There's a note between the shelves. 8806. All right, chat, write that down for me. Write that down. I'm just gonna get a drink while that's on screen. 8806. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 
Just open the windows, because why not? 42069, of course. I did do the police station stuff, I believe. It's a very tiny building, I think. So I found the note. I gotta say, it is a little awkward how the potion symbol and the HP meter are the only things that have color. I feel like they almost should should have stayed black and white as well. Because I really like the aesthetic of, like, uh, everything just being grayscale here. It looks awesome. The blood has color. You're right. I think, I think that the blood having color works really cool, though. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a stylistic idea that certainly has been done before. You know, everything's black and white except for the blood. Because it really highlights, you know, the, the blood. I don't know what else you want me to say. The potions could be grayscale, but HP bar is probably for readability. Yeah. Maybe the HP bar should be red. You know what? I like that idea. That sh it should be red, because blood. Bill's house. Oh, I remember this part. So, Jack found a note. Looks like a cheap science fiction novels. So, chat, if you check this thing, if you interact with the machine here, you will die. Because the, cause the, um, yeah, the teleportation experiment thing. And I'm not going to do that, because I don't want to die. Activate teleporter? No. Like, do I have to go in? Into it? Or do I get something here? Save and demonstrate? I probably should. Problem is, that they put this house so out of the way... There better be a save point in this house over here. No save point, but I probably should heal while I'm at near a bed. I could rest here a while. Now we leave. We leave. Go on an adventure. I don't think the Mar had anything either, no. <clears throat> uh, where is a save route? Where is a save point when you absolutely need it? Not here is the answer. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Okay, then. Let's go do it, then. Let's go activate the teleporter and die a horrible death. Just for all of you. One night only. Boo, boo, boo. There we are. So, can I check any of this stuff here? No, I can't. Got no idea what any of this is? Okay. Step inside! Maybe this isn't a good idea. Yeah! Game over. There, you happy? You know, it's all pixelated blood splatter. I hope you're satisfied with yourselves. Continue. Looks like there's nothing in that house. I think I just need to go to the southern part of town now. Like, there's a note earlier in the game that mentions, uh... Yeah, it mentions all that stuff. I think the save screen mention shows how many notes I have. I think I need to find all of them to move Snorlax again? I don't know. Oops. Oh, well. I forgot that did that. Surely the house with the cross on it will help me. Oh, gosh darn it. Bamboozle again. Oh, I can move down another one. See, because I'm thinking about this in uh, Pokemon assets... It doesn't immediately click with me that I can move down a tile here. 
And what do we have upstairs? Uh, that's this is the captain's room asset. I, I remember this place. Do you? The medical records of the people of Azure City. It seems that in 76, over 20 people left the city due to post-traumatic stress disorder. All right. All the records of the city just on one book. Makes sense. Beds, drugs. Um, can I sleep in this bed? I can't. Just open all the windows. Is there nothing here? He said he remembered this place, but it's not very memorable. I just wasted my time attacking things. Let's open one more of these bad boys. Magazines. Magazines. Oh, there's one more window. Hmm. How about this? There's a message on the screen. 8806, was it? Correct. Cupboard unlocked. Got the dome fossil. Well, I guess I know where we're going next. Bookcase is filled with magazines. Fridge is filled with old sausages. They, that just sounded terribly wrong. Never miss a moment to put in a sausage joke. All right. Remember, chat, only weenies joke about weenies. I can go in here. Do I want to, though? I can go to the museum, or it's locked. Never mind. Why is there even a tree in, in front of it if I can't even go in there? You might as well just have left it locked, period. Because I can't go there. Oh, right. This over here. I don't think I walked over here. Shopping center blue. We have everything you need. Weird. Doors won't open. All right, then. With both the fossils, that means we're gonna go... to the fossil place. And... it's up and around over this way. Ugh. Ear is getting itchy. Well... Was it this... No, this wasn't it, but I should make a save anyway. Can I... Sleep upstairs? Yeah, let's just sleep. Keep our health up full. Rest here a while. Um, I think there's still quite a bit to go. By the way, I believe that there is an entire optional area with an optional boss that gives you a... like a buff at the end of it. I might do that. Because I'm pretty sure I did that in other playthroughs anyway, so... No reason not to. Hang on. Is this the museum over here? This tiny building. Up Nazar Museum. Now let's just head on down and have a happy, wholesome time. You can move the strength boulders, but who cares? You're still locked out of what's ahead. dome fossil and now we have okay yeah the actual fossil sprites on display like that looks cool hm3 surf oh yes you know we just keep that in the museum basement fossil of a winged dinosaur tag reads aerodactyl fossil of a huge odd looking creature ever seen anything like it, it says kabutops kabutops eyes just glowed Really? I didn't catch that. I didn't- I did not catch that. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Huh. I'll have to look back on the footage for that. Yeah, it's a very reassuring room. What are you talking about? There we are. So now that I have HM Surf, where do you think I go next, chat? 
we just go and have a happy, wholesome time. Take a little swim. Because humans need superpowers to do that. Nothing on the side. I'm a swimmer. Oops. It pushes me down. I was holding up. Is that Gen 3 grass? I think that is. It looks like Gen 3 grass sort of changed to look like Gen 1-ish. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. I guess I want to push these in the, in the holes. There we go. I went back, but I see no glow. People saw no glow. Are people lying? Are people lying about the glowing eyes? This isn't rock tunnel theme. This is Union Cave theme from Gen 2. Um, I guess I pushed as many into the holes as I can, so I gotta go back around. Who would go on the internet and lie? Well, I can think of a few thousand people. Wait, can I even do that? Hang on, can I walk around? Let me fight, try that again. Boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. Oh, come on. Boo, 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 doo, 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 doo. Hmm. I swear it's from Gen 1? Well, I swear you're wrong. This is not Gen- this is not Gen 1 music. Boo. <clears throat> now what do we have here? Now let's just get this. I'm gonna fall down over there. So we need to fall down the top left hole on the other floor, so let's go back there. I mean, this theme is used a lot in Gen 2. It's Ruin's Valve theme, and it's just generally the cave theme for a lot of stuff. I do like a lot of Gen 2 music a lot. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, it is a bit awkward how you could walk around like that. They probably shouldn't have put that bush there at all. Is this area optional? I thought this area was optional, but I might be might have been wrong. Hmm. Well, Victory Road and Dragon's Den don't use this theme at all. Now I gotta push them all again? Oh, come on. You can't just stay there. Hmm. <clears throat> Ouch. Slightly itchy throat. And they opened up. Okay. Now I gotta back around. Best part about this? No wild encounters here. Hmm. Hmm. Why are there even bushes here? Who knows? Hmm. What was that noise? Yeah, again, why? Why would they make it so that you have to go through like this? Why not just move one tile around so it looks more uh, more noticeable? That bothers me a lot. And here we go. Kabutos! Oh, I can't shoot. I have to just uh dodge in the old-fashioned way. Is there something down there? Like, why is he blocking the way? No, he's just there for some reason. I'm guessing I don't want to get hit by it, though. Hmm. <clears throat> There's a bed. Is that a skelly? That's a skelly. I don't need to rest him at full health. Hmm. Okay, nine notes. Hmm. Shattered bones, they look like they belong to a human. Human skull, looks like it's been cut off.
Had to clear my throat there. Human skull. Looks like it's been cut off. Shattered bones. Looks like a report. January 2nd. With the TM-28, our new pickaxe, our digging speed has increased greatly. We still didn't find any valuable ores, though. However, we found a large population of horseshoe crabs in these long-forgotten cave systems. I might be hallucinating, but I think that I've seen something big moving in the water. Didn't look like a fish. Maybe we're on to something. Maybe we'll find a pre prehistoric animal that was thought dead for ce centuries. But they probably did not. Hey, fellas, what's up? Hey! You've got to be effing kidding me. The Mutops. Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Bum, 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 bum. Alright. I'll use one potion. I can't walk up, by the way. He blocks that whole path. the damage right away, didn't I? Ah, oh, darn it. Ugh. Why isn't he dying? I don't remember this fight being so obnoxious. He's supposed to die really quickly. Did I for Maybe I forgot to pick up something, but... Oh, come on. I don't want to use another potion if I can help it. There we go. Loud noise. Looks like it fled. I gotta get out of here. Alright, let's go heal. How many potions did I need to use there? Too many. But whatever. I kind of just stood in front of him shooting at the start because he's a pain in the butt to dodge. I thought I could honestly kill him before he took took me out. I remember him dying really quickly, so oh well. My goof, I guess. <clears throat> Shattered bones. 28. This is a sturdy pickaxe, it seems. By the way, there is something you can do here. Oh, isn't that Machamp it works for? You're right. I think it is. I'm not going in there. Nope. I'm not going in there. That thing is still in there. Took me long enough to, to get that thing to run away. I'm not risking my life again. No. Just no. Do you want me to die so badly? I'm not going in there. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. I'm not going in there. Oopsie. Let's ignore them. Uh, I gotta do a boulder puzzle here. Do it, Jack. Dive in. to come back in order to do it. That's a pain in the butt. And now, I'm in the train. Hang on a second. Uh, do I want to go that way right now? Not really. Let's put this stuff here. Let's move on here first. Oh, great, more. 
Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything I can pick up in here. I think this game has hidden items. Does it? Nope. Nothing I can find. Boo 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 do 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 do. Potion. Well, that's good. I'm definitely over going overkill with the potions. But I'm only gonna use them for bosses. Mm. Oh, right, ice path. This is what I needed with my time. There we go. We definitely needed an ice path puzzle. Nothing here. No, I'm not finding any hidden items. I don't remember finding a single one before when I played this. Okay. That takes me there, so just go here. There's nothing to even get over there. They're just kind of aesthetic. There we go. Oh, I see how it's gonna be. Potion. Yeah, I think I'll be just fine for potions in this game. Super slow ice puzzle, go! Okay. Do 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 boo. Hmm. Now I just gotta push the push the thing over here. There we go. Do 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 do. Catchy music, that's for sure. And now we got another save point. That's about all we need. And. Oh no. Why does this keep happening to me? Kaputops again. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got hit. I gotta, pl I gotta try and be safe here. Wish you could actually see the boss, but... No, this is the safest way to do it. Come on. Okay. I think this 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 uh, particular fight, the second fight against Kabutops, is the one that's optional. I think all I technically needed was T was the TM. Oops. Oh, that hurt me. I didn't think that one actually could hurt me. There we go. Oh, no, it's not dead. Okay. Oh, darn it. Are you kidding me? I wish I'd have had an additional hit left. Oh, come on. That's upsetting. Hmm. Alright, let's try it again, though. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no! Why does this keep happening to me? Alright, let's try this again. I wish I could just walk to the side of him, but that doesn't work. Darn it. Darn it. I'm gonna have to use a potion here, too. Oh. Darn it. Come on. No! I tried to press the potion there. Oh, well. Alright. This one's gonna take a little trial and error. Whatever. Push the button again. Continue. Alright, let's try this again. Oh no. It is nice that there's a computer deep down here. Ugh. Darn it, I moved into it. Ah, oh, stop doing that. crying out loud. Oh, how much HP does it have? I do not remember this being a difficult fight. Ah, oh, I should just spam the potions more. I feel like I should not have to spam so much for this thing, but whatever. Ugh. All right, let's try this again. This keep happening to me. All right, let's get through this again. I'll just spam all the potions and fine. I don't even care anymore. You need to go. Ah, <sighs> and <sighs> just wait for him to do stuff. Finally hit him. Just have to take him a really slow way then. His movement's just random, so... Uh-oh. feeling tempted to look at chat, which is so stupid right now. I really shouldn't. Ugh. 
I'm just taking it extremely slow and safe now. I really wanted to just sort of speed it, but I kind of can't. Clearly, I don't remember this fight as, as much as I thought I did. Alright, now we're... Ah, oh, great. Let me get two hits. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. How did that one hit me? Ah. We can't even, like, look at the boss because it's so it's so much safer to stay down here where he's off screen. Uh oh. Oh great. He's still going. Ah. Uh. Looks like his blades are invisible now. Okay, I got him. Even when I played that really slow and safe, I still lost a lot of health, but I didn't use a potion this time, so it's finally dead. That thing was relentless. Again, I'm pretty sure you don't need to beat the second Kabutops fight, like, but what does this give me? Gun 38. All right, yeah, this is a, a faster shooting gun, so that's good. And this goes where? I don't know where this is. This is a dead end, it looks like. Is there anything hidden here? What's the purpose of this? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we got a new gun. I can't really use it right now, but it does shoot faster. And one-way trip there, so we're not going to that. What is the point of these rooms? Where's this? Where am I? Wait. Is this... I haven't been to this house, have I? Card key. There was a house at the start of the game that needed this. Oh, this is the one-way house. Hang on. Yeah, I haven't been here. Take a look here. Note. Open all windows. Okay. Cheap pickaxes, hammers, drills, nothing but uncommon tools. Close, just close. Yeah, let's take a rest. Ugh. Yeah, ironically, I ended up spending more time on the Kabutops fight. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, how uh, when I was finally just ready to be like, alright, whatever, I'll just use a bunch of potions to get through that fight. I ended up not needing to use a single one on my last attempt. Oh, well. I really wanted to beat it because the, the, the better gun really helps, because the later sections can get really obnoxious. And, but before I go there... It's over here. Another area, and a note. Jack found a note. Oh, this room, okay. I see now, that's the point of it. And, oh, what am I doing? Did I just... I really just did that again. I'm an idiot. Okay, then. Fall down again. I gotta get back to the house. Boo -doo, doo -doo. Spooky noises. Okay, come on. It forces me to walk down when I go up for those, so I intentionally hold up sometimes. And, yeah, the card key was for the start of the game. I'll find another save point. It's no big deal. I don't think, um... Not a 
covers everything here, right? Hang on. Wasn't there a save room up here? Let me just save here. I got 11 notes. I don't know how many there are, or how many I need. Ugh. Nothing else that's needed here. So, back to the start, where we use the car key. Don't walk on the purple stuff. The purple stuff is too purple for us. Could be this house? No. That's too normal looking. I know it was upstairs somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Card key used. There's a message on the screen that says enter password. I don't know. Incorrect. I don't have a password, right? Well, I guess now I can use go over here. 8806 was a while ago, and that's definitely not for that. Well, there's another note. I've only seen one passcode so far, I believe. Have I picked up anything else? I'm not sure what else I can't. I'm not sure what else to do right now. Nathan's bikes. The rest of these houses. I don't remember if there's anything in these houses I need. No, the gene code didn't, didn't have card key doors. It's locked. There's a note stick to the door. I'm sorry, I can't let you leave just yet. Well, all right then. That's cool. Vending machine. No drinks for you. Uh, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. I don't have a key to enter the tower. I don't have a key to enter the shopping mall. Going into the water, I just found a better gun and the ability to dig. Wait, what about over here? There's nothing here. Is there anything else that Gene Co. I could do? There's nothing at the hospital I could do, I'm pretty sure. It was just the one room. Jack's just like, I remember this, but then he doesn't, like, tell us anything. No, I'm pretty sure there's no hidden items in this game. Everything is on the overworld. Hmm. Like, I opened the card key door, but I can't do anything with that because I don't have a password. I feel like I must be missing something else up here that I just stupidly walked by. Maybe I should check the station again? I feel like there should have been more there. I don't remember if I found much. Hmm. Did I see a longer password? Because I don't remember that. If someone wants to look it up, it's fine. But, hang on. Let's just open all the windows because we can. Okay. Da, 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 da. There's nothing over here. The creator of this game is German. Okay. It's 42069. Of course. What else would it be? Hang on. How many notes I got now? 12? All right. There's nothing at Bill's house but a dead end in death. Was there anywhere else that I could swim? Uh, actually, I do remember one place I could go. It was the station? No, not not that station. No, wait a second. Yeah, I opened a thing up, right? Not the police station here. It was like the train- the railway station, right? I opened a thing there. And I went over here already, right? Nothing here. Crimes that happen. Okay. Yeah, this. And then nothing here works. And then the sign. 
Hmm. I think I also missed something on the other side of town, though, as well. Let me check. I'm missing the train station somewhere. Professor Chen. Oh, wait, what? This was Chen's house? Have I been here? No, I don't think I've been in this house. November 12th, I've been diagnosed with se severe lung cancer. I have only a few months left. As my husband is too obsessed with his work, he never realized that I'm not feeling well. My husband is talking about finding a cure for the cancer. Does he not see that I feel uncomfortable with his experiments? If my time has come, then so shall it be. Prolong a human's life with this unholy science will only make my spirit unable to rest in peace. Henry fifth, I haven't seen my husband for weeks now. He's always at Jinko, working day and night. I don't feel well. I feel as if my husband is making a terrible mistake, toying with human life. This might be my last entry. I hope the guardian of the city leads me to the afterlife safely. Samuel, if you read this, I have no hard feelings about your work. I forgive you. You were simply blinded by the ability to change nature. Maybe I should open the windows just in case. You never know. Only close. Don't need to rest. I guess I did miss some houses here, so maybe I should double check those again. Found a note. Okay. I wonder if I can find them all this time, because I don't think I've ever done that before in a playthrough. If you find all the notes, I think the notes let you move the Snorlax or something, and there's like a better- the best gun in the game down there, but I never bothered to do it because it's such a pain to get them all. I think I could never find the last of them, and there's not like- there, there's not really like walkthroughs for this. In fact, I'm pretty sure when you search this game up, um, like my video on the- on the yellow channel is- is what- one of the first thing that comes up. There's nothing in here. How many notes are there? I don't remember. Hmm. I wonder if I hear- am I hearing something? No, I'm not. You know what I think it is? I think that some of the sound effects here are recorded weird, and I'm mistaking the echo for wondering if I'm hearing people talking. There was nothing else down here, right? All this poison. Hmm. Dr. Orm. Genetic engineer. We've seen all this stuff. Oh, chat. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. I might have to go deep back into the caves to, um... Hold up. I checked that door before. What about this house? This house was this. I'm just double-checking everything. I, remember, I think I vaguely remember always getting confused at this point in the game anyway. Alright then. Seven hours of streams right now. Ooh. There we go. Nothing in here. I'm pretty sure there's a way to access the train from above ground as well, but I'm trying to figure out where that is. Was this how what was this house again? No, there's nothing here. The professor did say something about going to the ninth floor. You're kinda right. I think I just got the HM cut and now oh, this is the wrong house again. Wasn't the station in the top left of the first section of the city? See, that's what's confusing me. I remember a train station, but I don't remember where it is. I feel like I've gone through every building again. This can't be it. No, that's definitely not it. I'm gonna go back to the Gene Co. building, because clearly I don't know I don't know where else I should head. Like, I found one entrance into the train station, but I feel like there's another one somewhere that I'm stupidly missing for some reason. 
And I have no idea why. That's John Blue's house up over there. Hold up. Is there... That's a shopping mart. What is it up here? What is this house? Train station. Oh my goodness. Wait. See? I told you there was one. Yeah, I was here earlier and I couldn't get in because of the strength blocks. Yeah, see, I found an entrance into this somewhere. Also, nice graffiti. Creepy music. <gasps> yeah, I shoot fast now, chat. It's been so long since I've seen an encounter. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna end this game with so many potions and everyone's gonna be like, Why didn't you use them, you idiot? Beep boops. Some beep boop noises. That's Porygon up there. And this is... Ugh. Oh, there's nothing here. Is that, what does that say? Kill? Boo, boo, boo. What is that supposed to be? 38? Wait, what? Wait, wait a second. 38. Uh, Porygon. Is this supposed to be a code? Or am... Is that supposed to be something else? I see the number 38 when I look at that. Three... Kill 38 Porygons. Um... That music. What about over here? There were other Pokemon. Gun 38, perhaps? That is what I picked up. You're not wrong. I I don't know if that's a code. I've never noticed that before. Can confirm that there are no walkthroughs this, through this game. Until today... Where we get everything, no we're not. I can't shoot unless there's combat activated. Anyways, so we, we just proved that the train station was a gigantic waste of time with nothing there. So, now let's go to floor 9, like he told me to do an eternity go, but I got distracted because I picked up HMs. Next. Next. 9. And... Anything new here? What about this door? Oh, finally. Is that... Those people are floating in jars. There's a bunch of these alien-looking guys, but they don't look hostile. What happened here? He is not the one we were looking for. He is no savior. He is but a monster. We have to destroy him. Okay. Our goal is fulfilled. Mewtwo lives, yet he has forsaken us. Where did he go? That's the guy. Is that gold? Is that gold or Ethan in the top left there? Yes, it is. That's the guy. I bet you if I could break out this guy from the capsule, there's a tag on it saying Harold. Oh, wow, there's actually names here. I didn't know that. I did not know that. He'd probably tell me technology is amazing. Uh... Hang on. Why don't these ones have names? Interesting. There's a tag saying Dave. Ethan. Wait, wait. Oh, these are- this is a reference to Pokemon Dusk and Dawn! Yeah, this, that's what this is. Uh, this girl doesn't have a reference. Ethan, Dave, Harold. It's because remember how uh, those games also had a reference to this game. Yeah, I'm just now remembering that. Maybe I should replay Dusk and Dawn at some point too, and then I can uh, reignite the passion of all the people that keep sending me endless emails to play the third game, even though it's never been translated. Why did he leave us? Was the thing we created not another Mew? Where did we go wrong? He has awakened. He has refused us and escaped. We have failed. He is not Mew. He wants to take control of all living creatures. Please. Please stop him. Just learn German. Oh, let me get right on that. Where is he? Where's the monster you created? And where are all the remaining citizens? We don't know where our master has gone. 
We couldn't locate him. His powers highly surpass ours. He doesn't want us to find him. We used most of the citizens for our experiments. The ones we didn't need, we teleported into Shopping Center Blue. We cannot guarantee their well-being, though. The Shopping Center should be locked at the moment. I will open the gates for you. I am so sorry. Oh, I said sorry. Alright, then. I guess we go to the shopping center. So what's next in this game? I believe that after the shopping center, there's like one more section of the game. Lorelai is definitely still dead. I can barely speak English, and you, and you people want me to learn German for a random Pokemon fan game? I guarantee you, even if that was like my best performing video on this whole channel, the time investment would probably not equal out. What else am I gonna learn? What else am I gonna need German for, chat? Nothing. Learn it for the game. At least if I learned something like Japanese, I could probably like... I could play a couple games that were never been translated and I can translate for the audience and that would probably generate some... Like, if I were to think of it like as a way to get people... Get some views, yo, get some views. But nah. Like, what what game would I play that's only in German, aside from that random Pokemon fan game? No, oh, you don't have to translate it for me. Boo, boo, boo. And now we have Shopping Center Blue, the next thing. The door is now open. Where did you get the key? I used to work here. I used to complain about my situation, but look at me now. Why did all of this have to happen? I'm sorry. They don't- the motivations of these Alakazams and their actions, they, they can be a little inconsistent if you ask me. Okay. If you see a man named Gavin, tell him that I'm sorry, and that I still love him. Anita, that random person from the diary early on? Wow. Boop, 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 boop. And now we have like the de like depressing Celadon remix. Let's go. Welcome to stream, friend. Let's see how well this goes. There's a piece of paper written in a bright red color. Oh, written on it in bright red. All right, chat. Here we go. I'm gonna need you. This is the this is the inter interactive part of the stream where you get your notebook and you write down the secret clues to help me out later. And when I ask for them, you're gonna give me the codes. If not, well then the failure's your fault. F1 information. Oh my god, you're one of the policemen who came here a while ago, right? You're under arrest, don't move! Oh, that's not a real officer, it's a ditto. What the hell's wrong with your skin? And your face for that matter. You're just another one of these mutants, right? I can't expect any normal humans here. All hail Mewtwo, our one and only king. Yeah, this game's plot gets a little bit off the rails now, if you couldn't tell. Well, I will not give up looking. Let's go. All right. Go away, gooey friend. I couldn't move, by the way. I was stunned. Looks like I came too late once again. I would like to, someone to tell me what universe does a ditto take that many hits to die. Because I happen to know that uh, this is nothing but lies. Looks like I came too late. This creature was far from human. I don't expect to encounter survivors. Hmm... So I can go back and heal, but pile three. Let's see how far I can push here. Doesn't seem to be able to open the door. There's a switch nearby. Elevator's jammed. Switch. Yeah, I have to activate the switch after I defeat them. Nothing here. Potion. Ow! 
Dun, dun, dun. Who'd have thought Celadon City theme could be turned into a, a, a boss music? Do, do. And now his head is opening up like those monsters from Resident Evil 6. Finish him off. God damn it. Turn it into a bookcase. Clever SOB. I took the potion and I got hit. Do, do, do. Potion. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing. Wait, no, I can see that I can see some deflated blobs on the ground. No, okay, they're not moving. Good. Ow. Cheap. Electronics. Let's go. Surprise. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, this is what we needed to. Having trouble aiming? Don't worry, it gets worse. Okay. Oh, so awkward. Trying to conserve as much health as I can, because I'm probably going to have to leave to go heal at a bed. Uh-oh. Oh, great, this one's fast. Gooey blob. That's right. He messed with the wrong guy. Hey, fellas. Hey, you guys over there. All hail Mewtwo, the true king. Thought so. You don't want to be saved either. Now I gotta fight three at once. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to use a potion here. Yeah, most definitely. Stop shaking the screen. Please. Whatever. Remember, when you're swarmed with enemies, if you take down one of them, it gets easier. It gets easier. What is that? What, what is that? It's like the head was all spaghetti. I don't recall, remember this one. Message. Oh, I didn't check the rest of them. Right. I need to go back to the first floor. Alright, first letter, or number, zero. I'm gonna look for papers on the floor as we ascend. Okay, zero again, chat. There's another one over here. Eight. Boo, 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 doo. Do, 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 do. And that one here. It's in the corner. Six. Okay, zero, zero, eight, six. Isn't that a code from earlier, but just like rearranged? I could have sworn that it was like one that was 8806 actually, wasn't there? Now this one's 0086. Correct, door unlocked. You're a. Oh shit. Okay, mister. Is that a Nintendo GameCube? Oh man, I should check to see if they got Thousand Year Door. Wait, how'd they get a GameCube in 96? This part is kind of cheap, isn't it? Hey, 
Patrick, I don't think this could be any harder to aim. Nonsense! Screen sharks shaking violently. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, get over here. You just mama'd your last Mia, buddy. Go, 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 go. That was so close. Uh-oh. Yeah, I have played this before, like, years and years ago. I even made a, I even made a video on it. Oh, no, 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 you're, you're supposed to let me heal. No, 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 you're supposed to let me heal and save before this. Hail Mewtwo, our one and only king. What the hell happened to you people? All right, then, I'm just gonna do the cheese for this fight. <laughs> Every intruder has to be crushed. What the hell? Machamp. Guess what? He can't hit you when you're when you're directly in front of him. Yeah. Game design. I earned this. I earned this victory. He's gonna take the shots directly to the weak spot. Discount Kabutox, yeah. Look, if they're not gonna give me a save point, I'm not gonna give them my pity. It's dead. I did it. I think I just I think I discovered this the last time I played it. I like how the screen is shaking, but the tech and the text is just weird. Look at that. Looks like this place is about to collapse. I think this is what I tried to do with Kabutops earlier when I just walked up to it like an idiot. I need to get out of here. HP up. Hey, look, I'm, I have a minute. Uh-oh. Can I play GameCube? No. Uh-oh. All right, let's get out of here. Let's not fight more of them. Time to run. Bum, bum, bum. You have one minute to live. What game you booting up? I don't know. If it were me, I'd probably just, like, throw a copy of Thousand Year Door out the window so somebody might have a chance of playing that game on original hardware. Holy crap, that was close. Once again, I couldn't save anyone. I should go back to the alien-looking guys to see if they know what I should do next. You know. I feel like there should be more survivors somewhere. This couldn't have been all the people. Alright, then. Apparently, Thousand Year Door discs are very hard to find, along with Path of Radiance. I, I still have my copy of Thousand Year Door. Okay, back to the aliens we go. I should also, like, uh, go and just, um, heal. Another reason for that is Nintendo didn't really do Virtual Console for GameCube stuff, and it's never been re-released, so... The only real way to play it is either have a copy or emulate it. And usually, and usually when... I mean, emulation's pretty much always gonna be... A main go-to for a lot of people, but if the only official way to play a game is to ha is just have an original GameCube copy, m odds are it's going to be a valuable copy because there's no other way to play it. No other way to play it. Quotation marks. All right, floor nine. Let's see. Here we go. Pretty sure the Fire Emblem, old Fire Emblem games are like that too. Especially like the GameCube one. Because they did not make a lot of copies for that. Uh, is this the right? No, I think I went the wrong way. I went up a floor again like an idiot. F10. Again, these weirdos. Is that Ethan, Harold, and Dave? What are they doing at G&Co? 
Do not step in the way of Mewtwo. So he's here. All right. Oh, great. Look at all this room I have to dodge. Good thing they're kind of dumb. Get out of here with your ambiguous morality choices, Harold. Nothing up here. May as well save. File 3. A part of me, I kind of want to get into old, like, console collecting and stuff to play more stuff on OG hardware. But I, I don't have, like, the room. I don't have, like, the... Oops, I don't have the room for any of that stuff, so I definitely really can't start. A lot of the old consoles I do have are still kind of boxed up in, a, in storage right now. Like, or not like my storage room, not storage, but... You're the one who opened the shopping center for me, aren't you? What happened to you? He... He returned. He's looking for something. Please, stop him. Please stop Mewtwo. I didn't expect to be playing this almost three hours. Thought I'd be done it by now, but there's still a little bit to go. Why is he doing this? Why is he killing his own creators? I... I'm starting to think that this is all planned. It's too convenient. Where did Mewtwo get the tools to do all this? Think about it, Jack. Someone is pulling the strings. The shopping center is destroyed. But I still feel that Gavin is alive. Maybe he is helping him. I don't even want to think about that. No. No! Wake up! You can't die now. No. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Hey, hey Jack, remember when you shot Susie the moment she even looked like one of these things? No? Okay, good. Just thought I'd remind you. No, your sacrifice will not be in vain. I will kill him and end this nightmare. Okay. <laughs> Key to Azure Tower. You know, just, just laying around. There we go. I know that there's some old console games that are just stupid expensive, though. Oh, hey. So you, you are this Mewtwo. Thus we meet. So you are the one who was supposed to stop me. You look surprised. You, you killed the creatures who gave you life. They were standing in my way, trying to stop me, trying to kill me. They did not bow before me. They showed no respect before their god. Besides, they would have died soon anyways. Their body can't hold the power they possessed. I offered them eternal life in exchange for their loyalty. They refused. You really are nothing more than a monster. You are toying with life as if it belonged to you. What did you do to the people in SCB? I gave them eternity. You were the one to take their life. They were not alive. They were nothing but mindless puppets. As if humans are more than mindless puppets. Constantly at war. Fighting for people they've never met. Worshipping and living for obscure, unreal concepts. Excuse me, you've been alive for like two hours. You see, I will change that. I will create a world. A world without war. Without opposing nations. Without crusades. Where there will be only one god. Uh, where's my Pokemon spooky game? What happened here? And that will be Mew 2. I grant you the possibility to see the power of a true god. Try to stop me. Mew 2. Dun dun dun. Okay. Can I even win this fight? I don't remember. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Ah, yes, the mortal body is given in to the HMs. I could give you your humanity back, you know. Shut up. I'm not giving up. I think I may have lost, chat. Look at yourself. 
You just need to bow down before me, and you can be the Jack you once were. Ha 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 ha. I never felt better. I will kill you. This will not stop me. Um, am I- I think you're not supposed to be able to win this fight, if I'm remembering correctly. I think you have to go to the tower. Once you get the key. Turns out the real monster was humanity all along. Yeah. Yeah, this was a spooky Pokemon fan game and a spooky city, but now it's, uh, now Mewtwo wants to be... Mewtwo is just Wesker now. He's like Wesker in RE5. F1. Can you start the fight and leave? No, once you enter combat, you can't leave rooms. I will become the god of the new world. The world shall bow down to me. Mewtwo. He became a Metal Gear Solid character. And when I die, you just hear Rose shouting, Jack, Jack, answer me, Jack. And the tower's down here. Spooky tower. Can I check the graves? I'd better save the game. There's another note. But I can't move here. <sighs> Generic stock. Breathing effect. The graves of my parents. They never found the killer. I will continue. I won't give up. I owe them this much. G -g 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 ghost. The ghosts again. There are no windows this time. I have to run. Oh no, he passed out. What's happening here? Oh my god, what happened? No! The memories are coming back. I'm sorry, Jack. You won't see your parents again. Wow. Wait. Who are you? Come back, mister. What's happening with the reflection? Oh, you thought the game was already going off the rails? You ain't seen nothing yet. This game is where it goes off the rails and then it falls into and it falls into a portal and into Wonderland. So let's move on ahead. Wait, can I talk to them? Can you tell me what the giant lizards are? Now I can finally leave this world. Hang on, let me go back. What has my husband done? I knew your father, he was a good man. Look at what you're becoming. I will never forget you, Clara. All right, now let's move on ahead. Dun dun, dun dun, dun 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 dun. The dogs, the dogs are out to get me. Press X to cancel evolution. You should just, okay, that's rude. Rude. Wait, that's me. Okay. So I think what needs to happen here, I have to let I have to let this thing finish me off, otherwise I game over. Unfortunately, he has the same AI where he just randomly looks around and shoots. Ugh. Here we go. Accept your fate. No. What? Jack is evolving? Press X to cancel. Huh? 
Jack, stop evolving. What? Was that a dream? No. What is happening with me? Mother. Father. I will not give up. Yes, now he has white hair. Jack found note. Here we go. And now I'm ready to do the fight against Mewtwo. I told you, I, I told you, you hadn't seen anything yet. <laughs> this last section of the game is, is really, really silly. Like, the game... I think you've just let the evolution happen. Um, you just turn into Alkazam and it's game overs. There we are. You got the an yeah, it's, it's so anime right now. Your hair changes color and now you're going back to confront the antagonist. Boo, 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 boo. That's the thing about horror is that what makes it scary is the mystery and, and fear of the unknown. And once the game gets to the point where it starts explaining that unknown, it either clicks with you or it doesn't. That's why horror can be really hit or miss for people. Because by the end of it, it simply can't be horror anymore because it's answering things. Or it leaves you with a really, really not so great ending. You know what I mean. Alright, let's go do it again. I've returned, Mewtwo. So, you are this Mewtwo. I believe this is the same dialogue. Thus we meet. You are the one called Shaft. I mean, Jack. You killed the creatures who gave you life. Yeah, same, same stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go, come on. You really are nothing more than a monster, toying with life as if it belonged to you. What did you do to the people here? Alright. Man, we've been streaming almost eight hours today. I kind of want to... We can definitely finish the game this sitting, but... Jeez, I was not expecting the play a whole playthrough of this game to take so long. But then again, longer stuff for your viewing pleasure, I guess. Once this gets uploaded to YouTube. Hurry up, friend. Can't skip this. Cannot skip this whatsoever. Mewtwo. Okay, come on. Shoot. Ah, potions don't heal that much now. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, I hate this. Oh my, mm. I can't even, ah, why did you not turn into an Alkazam? You should have become one of them by now. Shoot! Um... Oh my god, no. No. The, the game froze. Wait, what? It, oh, it fixed itself? Okay. I don't... I don't know what just happened, but alright. Okay. Oh, great. I was scared for a moment. Oh, great. Now he's gonna force field. Uh... teleporting around now. Come on, shoot. I couldn't, like, shoot or anything when that happened. I was scared. Mm. He's stuck. It, 
It feels like when he changes to the force field, it interrupts inputs. So if I'm shooting, I can't shoot anymore, which is kind of annoying. What the hell? How am I losing to a mere human? You can't be. You, I have to get away from here. What happened there is that Mewtwo was in the middle of a movement chain, but couldn't go in the direction it wanted. And apparently the creator didn't check ignore if can't move when setting up. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. How did it end up moving again, though? Because I was very confused. You mean, like, when I hit him, he was probably going into, like, trying to go into a cutscene? I don't know. He escaped. Where might he be? This teleportation is really starting to piss me off. And now we have a hint of red on screen. Yeah, where, where did he go? Probably went to move at random. There's a note on the floor. I'm sure this wasn't here before. 3507. Okay. 3507. Where do I use that? Uh... Wait. Oh, here we go. That computer wasn't active before. Three, five, oh, seven. Step into the middle of the room. Yep, we're going to the end now. I don't think I have enough notes. Can I do that? I'll have to find out. Here we go. And now we go to the secret under underground laboratory, because it's not a horror game without one of those, apparently. Can I move? Or... No, I'm still going. Must be super underground. Alright. I had to use a bit of potions to get through that fight. As you can tell, the boss fights are a little obnoxious. Again, this game is, is something I'd classify more as fun to watch, but maybe not the most fun thing to play. Like, I wouldn't blame anybody for being like, yeah, I don't want to play this anymore. It's kind of... How does that even work? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Looks so weird. Random TV. I wonder if I can check that. I don't remember doing it last playthrough, did I? That was years ago. Electricity got stuck. Realism ruined. I can't play this anymore. Oh, wait. Hang on. I kind of made a boo-boo. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Looks like I have to put some weight on this switch. Well, all right then. Oops. Oh, great. I took a hit again. Um, you know what I should do? I'm gonna move it all the way over there now. Wait, can I... Okay, I can. go. What did I just do? Open this? I think I opened that. Can't check that switch there. Three. There we go. Can't get up there. There's nothing over here. A bunch of scientists. They don't seem to be reacting to my presence. Are they really human? Or just like the creatures I encountered in the shopping center blue? No, I just like this part because it has a lot of visual effects that are very, very unfun. There's a lot of flashing lights and, um, rather screen flashing and, sh and screen shaking. We can do this. We will not blow our second chance. 
world won't be the same if we do this. He will rise. There we go. You'll see what I mean, but... Uh, yeah, this is probably the biggest point where people would probably jump ship for playing it. Because it definitely can make you feel kind of sick just to look at this, but you'll see. My work will write history. He will rise once again, this time with perfection. What the hell? An intruder has been spotted in Sector 1. Yeah, you like that? I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I hope you really enjoy this. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. You don't? You don't like that alarm sound effect as well? Isn't it cool? Hang on, I really actually gotta turn that down. That's really loud. Boop, boop, boop. Um... Hold up. Just focus on getting rid of them. We're fine. Get rid of the ditto. Ah, oh, great. Oh, good, look at that face. Uh-oh. Come on. Don't worry about it. Okay, there goes another one. All right, there we go. What horribly disfigured creatures. What is Mewtwo planning? Okay, wonderful. Open Sector 2, yes. Do-do-do-do-do. And let's take a look around here. I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing in this in a moment, but... Locked, probably need to activate another switch. So I'm probably gonna have to do another fight in a second, so let me just go back and use the PC. I'm gonna just uh, fix how I'm sitting here. I'm kind of hunching forward a little bit too much. I checked that entire left side now, so... File 3. Potion. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I have to go around, duh. Well, alright. Better save again, then, why don't I? Just go all the way to the next side. We'll be absolutely fine. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. What's... What the hell? An intruder has been spotted. In Sector 2. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, great. Come on down! You're the next contestant on... Uh, die. Ugh. Alright. Uh-oh. I love this part. Okay. And that is why you hoard potions at the start of the game. Okay. Stop the alarm sound now, please. Okay, Sector 3, open. Let's go back and save again. Woo, sarcastically. Oh, yeah. File 3. Oh, we're already over the three-hour mark for this today. What about this here? Nope, nothing to check. Boo, 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 boo. Another bed would be nice. <laughs> oh my. No. Aren't you supposed to be dead? No! I don't remember this! Aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> so you made it this far. So he is able to revive humans. Why are you here? <laughs> he can. Maybe he is a god. Like the Alakazam said. Why don't you just leave? Are you helping him? Did you see what happened in, sh in the shopping center, Blue? <laughs> because, because he made a promise. Yes, 
He promised to bring my wife back. Back from the grave. If I help him... Are you insane? Look at yourself. You're merely a shadow of your former self. What Mewtwo creates is not human. The creatures in Shopping Center Blue are brainless monsters. You should know what you're getting yourself into. Shut up. You have no idea how it feels. No, you shut up. I know how it feels to lose someone. I know. I need to bring her back. I will not give up. I promised. Don't you see? You already gave up. Look at yourself. This can't be what she wanted. Did you read what she wrote to you? She forgives you. But stop trying to change the course of nature. <laughs> she... She forgives me. Thank you, Jack. I see clearly now. What if I didn't check that file? I guess you're right, Jack. I am dead. There's no way to change it. You are a fool. Merely an idiot with good intentions. Regardless, what you did was wrong, but you didn't know any better. Please. Please forgive me. Let's turn it back up after those sirens. The Professor. Yeah, here we go. I don't remember this fight. I don't think I can forgive you. Okay. Okay. At least the cutscene's not as long this time. I've already used up most of my potions, though, and I'm probably gonna need to use more. Nice, nice, nice. You couldn't have just stayed there, could you? This Lavender th Lavender Town theme remix goes hard, doesn't it? This arena is much more reasonable, I think. Where is he? He's a ditto now. We're all just a little ditto deep down inside. Rest in peace, Professor. Rest in peace. Don't you dare ever come back again. There we go. And now we go down. I'm stepping deeper and deeper into the secrets of Jinko. What is Mewtwo trying to accomplish here? It's tentacool. Let's see what will happen if I amp up the amount of Serum D on this one. Serum D is taking full effect. Mindless jellyfish can become these intelligent creatures. Without Mewtwo, we would not have been able to see this. I believe that there's a scientist you need to talk to here, that it's crucial if you want to get the best ending. Kabutops killed us all. He managed to escape. I wonder where he is right now. Kabutops killed us all. He managed to escape. I wonder where he is right now. Yeah, so technically, I guess you didn't have to go... You didn't have to go to Kabutops at all. You were supposed to just go to Floor 9 and advance the plot. Serum M can be used to bring back the dead. Master Mewtwo is a genius. Definitely want to save here. I would like a bed, though, so I can try and make the most of my potions. Boo, boo, boo. There's nothing over here. Just a bunch of tentacool hanging out. I also like- I like how this, uh, box here is- Oh, I thought this, like, pole was, like, on the- the ceiling. Or, the, like, this one. Never mind. I thought the box was layered weird, but I was just incorrect. This another potion? Yes, I could use that. Locked. Alright, then. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, what are you posting there? Uh, wait, uh, the creator posted something in English, yo-yo? What is it? Another potion. Oh, great, again? Yeah, 
An intruder has been found in Sector 5. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's do it. Let's get rid of this ditto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Gun go shoot, shoot. What on earth was that transformation? That was spooky. Hang on. Oh, how did you hit me? Come on. Oh, great. Oh, that was so close. That was really, really close. Now, what's this? This must have been where something important was. Well, there's nothing here anymore now. I really don't want to have to use on any potions right now. So, this is the second Pokemon Nightmare. And... They translated the first game to English recently. It was only German before, and they've made a third Pokemon Nightmare game. When did this happen? I didn't know Nightmare had a first and third game. I thought this was the only game they made, but it was the only one they translated. No matter how hard I try, I can't open the door. Unholy Trilogy. Hang on a second. There's another set of double doors I could go into, right? Locked. Hang on, what did this one say? Apparently this was 2014. 14? When did I... When was this? Well, it was 2014, but I, I don't remember hearing about this. No one's ever told me this until now, as far as I know. Uh, I should probably go save at the PC, just to be safe. I have one hit left, and I do not want to have to use the potions if there's a bed up ahead. Well, apparently I might have to check that out sometime. This game doesn't even have a walkthrough online, let alone information that there's more of them. They only upload it on their Facebook, so it's hard to find? Are you kidding me? No wonder nobody knew about it. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go over here. Well, I might have to look into that. Maybe not right Maybe not play it right away, but... Oh, yeah, the bed. Yeah, that's the bed right there, chat. Hang on. You should not be here. Yeah! Game crash! Intentional game crash! Um, hang on a second here, actually. Yeah, let me mute the audio. Uh... Hang on. Oh, I have to I have to task manager this, don't I? That's cool. Yeah, okay, it's not closing. Hang on. Oh, great. Cool. Chat, was this is the screen still the same? Did anything flash? I'm just wondering. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Game design. Yeah. Booyah. That's cool. Hold up one second. This thing's gonna just... I gotta re... Ugh, I wouldn't have done that if I realized how much of a pain in the butt it would be to reset this up. Hang on. Hang on. You can hear it again, I hope. Oh, I have to resize all these windows and everything. Oh, what a pain in the butt. No flash, it just died. All right. Boo, 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 da, doo. Um, where is the thing? Okay, good. It's recording again. Good. Just making sure. Gene Co. All right, so let's go to. Let's resume. That's a totally cool crash. Totally, totally cool crash. I know. Okay. Potion. But I, like, don't want to use it. <laughs> this is why I get in this problem. Yeah. 
Open Sector 4. Oh my goodness. Do this to me now. I'm probably just, like, scaring everyone doing this. Now let's go save again, now that I open Sector 4. I, I do not want to waste a potion if there is... If there's a bed up ahead. So you're not supposed to be able to... You're actually not supposed to be able to check that bed, but they didn't realize that, um, you could. So, and, it, and it's meant to be an anti-cheat thing, I guess, or a bamboozle to you, but, um... Not so much. Locked. Which door is it, then? Not a crash, it's a feature! The, the game intentionally locks up. I had to task manager in order to open it. That guy again. Who is this man? What is he doing here? What was that? Hang on, I can wait. Oh! Open Sector 7. Okay, don't worry, everybody's just got the jellies. Do, 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 do. Kabutops killed us all. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Is it this area where I find that scientist, I wonder? Okay. I... I got a feeling I should run. Yeah, I might need to use a potion. Might need to use a potion. Oh, whatever, fine. I'll use one. Ugh. That's right, can't get me now, Mr. Jelly. Ha! That'll show you. All right. Can he actually break it, I wonder? I want to find out. Here's an actual bed. All right, well, I just wasted a potion, chat. I hope you're happy. Gosh. Game's literally unbeatable now. He's gone now. Anyways. I'm working on the weapon department. Hey, you got TM-28 over there. I invented that years ago. Let's make some improvements. Yes, you need to pick up TM-28 in the Kabo Kabutops dungeon. So, yeah, I guess it isn't so optional. You need this for the true ending. You can now call it TM-30. I have no idea what it does, but it's surely better. All right. So I believe in Gen 1, TM-30 is teleport, and I'm gonna need this for the true ending. I look through all the data. There is no logical reason for the birth of our master Mewtwo. He should have been a Mew. Must have been a miracle. Boo -boo. Boo -boo 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 -boo. All right, I think I'm missing several notes anyway. What's happening here? Looks like I have to confront you this time. Who the hell are you? What are you doing in Azure City? Hmm. You should know who I am. You can call me Lou. I was pulling all the strings from behind. Yes, it's him, all right. It's this guy. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. Mewtwo's creation. It was the antidote's fault. By preventing a Mew from mutating, you get this unstable unsta creature. I think they mean unstable. How did Mewtwo create Serum M in such a short time? Where did he get Serum D from? Why is your gun never running out of ammo? Understand that I've got all the answers. I am one step away from finishing Project M once and for all. Your father died to prevent me from doing that. What is Mewtwo going to do? What is this Project M supposed to be? Mewtwo is imperfect. I knew that from the beginning. I will present a new model to you. Yes. He will start conquering the world in our name from there on. 
Not if I stop him. Feel free to try. I can't let you go without a fight, though. I do have to stop you here for a couple of minutes. He's not ready yet. Mewtwo needs every minute now. Why are you doing this? Who are you? What are your goals? As said, you should have figured out who I am by now. As for my motivations... Yes. It would be boring if I just told them, wouldn't it? The yes. gentleman. The yes man. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah! Everybody run around in random directions. Let's go. I hit him once and then he's gone. Okay. Yeah, let's take him out. No, you don't. No, none of that. We are having none of this healing crap. What did I just say, bro? You're quite good, Jack. I really want to see you fight him. You beat him once, but this time it's different. See you next time. That is, if you survive. Colonel, who was this man? He kept saying yes over and over. Raiden, that's somebody. Just ignore him. Who cares? All right. Can I go back and heal? Or save? I didn't get hit at least. File 3. Yeah, chat, did you notice that his name his name is Lou J. Ben? And if you re if you rearrange the letters of Lou J. Ben, what can you spell? Boo boo. This reveal is better if you've played the first game. Welcome. You're in time for the birth of a god. Now who are you? Just call me Gavin. I've heard about you. And I've heard of you, Jack. In fact, you're holding the gun, which I created. Teleporting bullets. Yes, they actually do this. I'm not even kidding. I'm not making this up. If you are, like, listening to this passively without watching the screen, I'm not just making that up. I created teleporting bullets. Hope you like it. What the hell is happening here? I'm glad you asked. Mewtwo was incomplete. So we improved him. Yeah. This is getting so genetical. <laughs> yes, it is. We collected all of the dead bodies in the city, and we injected the people's memories into him. All the people's knowledge, all their pasts, all their willpower, all their strength. This new version of Mewtwo... He has more purpose now. We shall call him. It has started. Behold. I can see it. I can see heaven. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful. And then their head went pop. <laughs> You are here, Jack. You humiliated me last time. This time, however, I will not fall. I don't really see a difference. <laughs> You're just bigger. Silence! You have no chance against me! I am a god! I can control reality with my mere will. 
I will destroy this world and rebuild it. Humans are weak, but I will make them strong. Let me show you a new world. Da dun da dun. Mew 3, final boss. Let's go. Are you ready, chat? Dun 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 dun. Um. Can't seem to hit him. Okay. Don't you see? You stand no chance. I told you, it goes off the rails into Wonderland, and then it goes off another portal, and we're in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory for the criminally insane. So you plan to kill me with this thing you call gun? You will not need this anymore. It's completely useless against me. Oh yeah, if you're if you got pho photosensitivity warning for this part, <laughs> definitely look away. You will not need this anymore. It's completely useless against me. I don't even need this to kill you, you soulless bastard. You don't get it, do you? You're a mere ant compared to me. You stand no chance before me. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Sprite scaling. Mode 7 on the Game Boy. I will crush you like the ant you are. He, you won't. Or rather, you can't. What? What are you saying? You could have killed me with a single gaze, but you didn't. Now I see why. I understand why now. You want to crush me. You want to prove that you can break the mind of the only person who opposes you. You want me to abandon all hope, but you just don't understand. I understand everything. I have the memories of all the people of Azure City. How dare you say that there is something I do not understand. Let me show you a mere glimpse of my knowledge. Okay. You found something, didn't you? We finally did it. We Okay, I can't read, read, read this in time. John, where are you? John, no. What's your name? I'm Lorelai. Bill, Gavin, I think we should... I don't have a think. We... Bah, bah, bah. My... My head. I have all of that knowledge. All of these memories. I understand. My... My eyes. I understand how easy humans can be crushed. I see how easy it is to bring despair upon them. But why are you not falling? Why don't you face the fact that I am your true king? Because you don't feel. You may have the memories of all the people here, but you don't have the emotions or experience. You have no will of your own. I'm sorry, I can't help but freaking laugh. <laughs> You're a machine. Something artificial. With a goal built into it. I... I... Your words don't fit my calculations. I don't feel any despair in your voice. I have seen some seriously weird shit here in our Azure City. You are no different or more disturbing than the Alakazams, for example. You are actually more pathetic. You're trying too hard. You may have the knowledge, but you have no idea how to use it. You may have the power, but you don't know for what. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't. How? How dare you? Because it's true. You have no goal. Chances are, you're gonna kill yourself after you kill me. I, 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 enough! Okay, it's letting me save. File 4. Puny human, you are right. But I will not be satisfied if I don't beat you in a fair fight. I have to prove that I am supreme. I shall beat you in a fair fight. This way we shall decide who lives and who dies. Bum. 
Bring it on. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I can move at super speed now. Uh, how do I attack? Oh, I have to literally walk up and slash him, right? Dun, 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 dun. Also, I like, like those calculations in the background. Oh, great. Probably should be using the potions now. Wait for him to shoot the beam and then walk up and hit him. Oh, great. Nothing left to use the potions for. Now there's blood raining from the sky. I wish I could make this up, but I can't. Oh, what, what? Okay. Uh oh, okay, just hide. Okay, uh-oh. The screen will keep shaking even more, don't worry. The further he he get closer he is to dying, the more the screen shakes. Okay. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is almost unplayable. Don't worry, it gets worse. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't move. I'm stuck. Oh, come on. Oh, this might be bad. Did I do it? You. How could you possibly win? Could I failed? I'm supreme. No, you're not. You're nothing but a tool, a machine, a puppet. How? How dare you, you imbecile! I will end this once and for all. This is the end of Azure City's nightmare. No. I can give you infinite power. I can make you immortal. His head is gone. I guess that's it. This building is about to collapse. Yeah. Once in my life, I did something. Wait a second. I still have that thing at TM30 that the scientist gave me. Might as well use it. Yeah. Yeah, the black text box doesn't shake, but the white one does. It's kind of hilarious. I... I'm alive. I'm... alive. I have never been this happy that I'm alive. That that thing teleported me out of here, out of there. Anyway, I should get the hell out of here. Yeah. Mother, father, goodbye. Here we go. I did it. And just like that. Home sweet home. I can finally rest. Yeah. Wait, what? What's going on? Was that end farewell music? Then recognize it. Yes. Yes. I... Why are you telling me this? It's the yes guy. I... I understand. It's Lou J. Ben.
Jack, is that you? I've been looking for you everywhere. You were gone for days. What the hell happened to your hair? Did you bleach it? I'm sorry, Oscar. Have to go. Azure City should be clean now. Send a team over there. Yeah. What's the matter? Where are you going? <laughs> to Johto. What? What's your business there? Looks like I have to save the world again. What's his problem anyway? Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Whoa. Yeah. And that was... Yeah, Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Oh my goodness. Graphics, Oracle of Seasons. That's where the trees are from. Sound. All this stuff. Okay. Beta testers. Oh, Mr. Prince beta tested this? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Special thanks. GJ Soft. Yeah! That was definitely a game. Thanks for playing. Well, thanks for making it, friend. Even though I have my issues with it, certainly, I did. I definitely do enjoy it. That's why I made a video on it and am doing another playthrough of it now. Does it go back to the end? Alright, there we go, chat. That is the end, in fact. That was, in fact, a game. It was functional. Yeah? Yeah, it was a video game. So, again, I do like this game. Also, anyone notice that the word nightmare is misspelled down there? There's no H. <laughs> Crying out loud. Oh. Okay, now reset, finally. Now night. Now it's spelled correctly? <laughs> How? There's two different screens? I don't I just noticed that. It says Nightmare down there, but on the previous screen, the H wasn't in there. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, alright, let me just, um... Go back here for a moment. Alright, so, alright, chat, let's just talk about it now. So this was Nightmare Invasion. It was a fun playthrough. Oh my goodness, we really played this for over three and a half hours. Can I show off the note gun? I'm pretty sure I don't have enough notes, but I will go to that basement. Does anyone... Uh-oh. Stuff just fell. Hang on. Um... I actually think I have to reset the game. So that... I don't know where that even is. Nah. I'm not gonna do it. Whatever, I can just close the thing. Boop. Alright, chat. So that was Nightmare Invasion. Let's just talk about it. It's going on long enough, and I'm hungry. I'm hungry, chat. Very hungry. Stream in total is almost eight and a half hours. Oh, great. And I'm streaming again tomorrow. I definitely overdid it today. Anyways. I think this game is fun. Although, I, I think maybe the last... Maybe, la I want to say last half, last quarter. It, it is... It is really absurd, and just, it, it makes you laugh to look at it. I'm sorry. It, it's just really hard to take it seriously, but... I think it's mainly just all the visual effects and stuff that annoy me a lot, but... I, like, I was cracking up just reading the dialogue <laughs> and looking at chat. It was, it was pretty funny. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh... Just seeing chat react to some of this nonsense was great. But we're going to be back again tomorrow and do some other stuff. I'm not sure what. I'll probably talk with the mods about what to do. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this little play little playthrough here. <laughs> no, you shut up. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Yeah, this is going to be another long upload I can put up. I can't believe I did the whole thing in one sitting and it was this long. Oh, great. Oh, well. I, I thought maybe this would take like two hours. I very much did not guess that right. But anyhow, for the YouTube audience, hope you enjoyed this little playthrough. 
Probably gonna do some more RPG Maker stuff soon. Have a good night. Bye bye.